Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the third episode of Isolation D&D with Viva La Dirt League! Yo, 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 yo! Woo! How Woo! is it going? Live um, from so VLVL Studios. You, I'm, doing, I'm doing really good, thank, thanks, Al. I'm, I'm doing good. Yeah. And how are you, extended Viva La Dirt League family? Wait, good. That's good. good. That's so good. good. Hello. Now, from from what I from what I remember of um the where we left off, not everyone, not all of our characters are good. <laughs> no. 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 Do we, um, do we, do we want to give a slight recap? As we definitely do. Do, do. do you want Do you want to give Rob? Would you like to give a quick recap, and then after you've done a recap and before we get fully into it, I'm going to um give a bit of a shout out to D and D. So, uh, yes, uh, you, uh, you'd found yourself in Alderkeep um, through your respective journeys, and then uh, a, a messenger rode into town saying, hey, City of Wraith's under trouble, uh, in some trouble, you need to help us. So you set off north uh, as your band of misfits, um, and you had a little rest about halfway through uh, where you got attacked by Zvarts. And so at the last session, you, you, you started with um, looting the Zvarts' bodies and setting off north again. Uh, towards the uh, towards the city of Wraith. You made it about uh, almost all the way there before it got a little bit too late, so you decided to have a stop over at a, uh, a crossroads town called Woodstop. Um, as you walked into town, there was a couple of guards who didn't like the look of you. There's a, a tiefling among you and uh, some some strange-looking Goliath and giant metal man. Uh, and so they, they, a little bit... Uh, off put with your, your appearance, um, but you managed to assuage their doubts by by doing a little performance and convincing them that you were you were traveling jesters. <laughs> and so, and so, two of them coming off of work, uh, Robbie and uh, Stuart, they they um, they managed to take you to uh, a a local pub called the Pig and Blanket, um, where you started meeting some of the locals and having a having a um, a wind down for the evening. Uh, while you were in this pub, though, um, not only did Torok and, uh, and and Zaza get into a little bit of a head-to-head -head over uh, over their, their current priorities, like... priorities yeah. Um, but well, you uh... know, Torok just needs to chill, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're like you're like turning into David. I know. <laughs> Zaza is becoming David. But... Zaza is turning into Austin Powers, man. <laughs> But number fourteen and um, and Alfie also met uh, their respective uh, relative, uh, if it were, uh, Freddie, oh, yeah. who who is uh, effectively number fourteen's father, for want of a better word. He's the creator of him, um, and uh, he Giant is also like uh, cousin. first cousin by marriage or something uh, to Alfie. Hang on, I, I just need to get into character. And I, <laughs> yeah. and I, and I think, I think that's all that happened, isn't it? Isn't that? Wasn't yeah. No, yeah, no, absolutely. Randy all that Bob. Happened. Nothing yeah, happened Randy after Bob. that. I'm at full it's health. What are you talking about? Randy like... Bob got bobbed. <laughs> so we, Bob so we find like, ourselves here. Who is keen on me? Who's keen? Down. <laughs> we find, down, we find down. ourselves in this little town here, this Woodstop, uh, and I, I will take BTS. you to that page now. <laughs> <laughs> Right before I uh, take you to Woodstock to to pick up where we left off, uh, Adam, do you want to give any announcements and thank uh, you? Oh yeah. So um, as if you've seen the last couple of episodes, you'll know that these uh, the isolation games are sponsored by Wizards of the Coast themselves, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, yeah. because they're trying to uh, help people who want to get into D and D across uh, the COVID nineteen lockdown that many countries are experiencing. They're trying to help you uh, play D and D by giving away a lot of their resources on their website for one hundred percent free. Um, yeah. So you can play online with your friends like we're doing. Uh, so was it you attempting to do a heart? No, was that, was it, zero, was that was zero dollars. That was uh, zero dollars. I see. <laughs> I think I zero, do this and just like really zero <laughs> failing at it majorly. She was she was trying to do an anatomically correct heart. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There. And then there's a like a valve comes out here. <laughs> that thing, yeah. Um, anyway, so if you do want to check out um if you do want to check out those free resources and start playing Dungeons and Dragons with your friends, uh, there's a link in the description. Uh, ch check it out. It takes you to yeah. all the free resources on the website. Yeah. There it without, is. Yeah. So without thank, further ado, thanks again, uh, Dungeon Dragons. Uh, without yeah. further ado, let's narrate Bob's death. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, no. I need a Titan Shards. 
<laughs> so you find yourselves in this little oh, town here. Me. If you want look to zoom out well dude. enough. Look at, the, look at his avatar. He's the dodgiest motherfucker on the planet. That's <laughs> the avatar. He looks even more dodgy now. Like now. I'm, he did not out. look like that last time. He looks I'm glad you, I'm, last time. I'm glad you've noticed because I was about to uh, mention that we have a particularly nice artwork here. Oh, oh. Um, Marjo. Um, Marjo. from. From a uh, m most of you know her, most of you love her. Uh, she is a, a fan, a very talented fan, known as Ajo. Wow. Ajo, um, what up? And uh, and she and she made this for me in secret. Wow, I told her I told her some of the awesome. specifications about the guy. Uh, oh. I saw how how she'd made the um the, really each good. of each of the five of you. If you haven't seen that artwork, go and check out her Instagram. Um, awesome. at Derison. Uh, D E R awesome. R I S O N. She is uh, phenomenally talented. Um, so now, I just, if I me. had known that this guy looked like this last time, Bob <laughs> would have made some very different choices. <laughs> is like, Where what? are his what? eyes? Where are his eyes? Yeah. So, Bob, Where is uh, the so, leniency? Your eyes are so such what, a beautiful what, what, pitch black. <laughs> what part of me? What part of me describing him as a shady fellow with a green olive hood and um, <laughs> and dark? You did he had eyes. Literally had I, eyeballs. Nope. I definitely, I definitely described him as having eyes in pools of shadow. Yeah, as uh, in like overhead lamps, like a like a lamp constantly facing that. So that's so that's 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 what Bob's into. Uh, so oh, she God. she saw him in the bar, and he uh, he came over to her, well, she came over to him and started like grinding on him uh, <laughs> because <laughs> because Brit because Brit has uh, sort of some sort of. ADHD with her. She's just her, she's uh, like a real, she's like tokens. Jason Bourne, but just like a real horny Jason. Bourne. <laughs> <laughs> she was. We, she was, she was doing Jason a lot of this Bourne because she doesn't know. Don't be shaming her. She doesn't know history. She no just, memory she of her past. Remember her past. She woke up on a boat. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, eventually she came over to this guy who said, what's your name? And she was like, oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah, he Tarot, had eyeballs. Like, yeah. Tarot, came over. Tarot came over and was like, oh, what's your deal? And so this guy quickly skirted around him and vaulted over the bar in a very nimble athletic way and shot out the door. Um, uh, right. and, and she went, oh, I was going to get some with that guy. So she went after him. Uh, hey, and when she went after him, the guy Where grabbed him. The guy grabbed her and pushed her up against the wall and said, Where, what's your name? Where are you from? How old are you? And she's like, oh, well, I'm of legal age. Um, <laughs> <Yourself>? <laughs> and oh, and, and through some reason or another, perhaps through her uh, answers or not, um, she felt a very sharp, very stabbing pain in her gut. She looked mm. down and saw the hilt of a short sword uh, sticking out of her abdomen um. and he had stabbed her. Um, meanwhile, the other guys were all inside dancing on tables. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm just a sweet <laughs> phantasmo. So, so that's where, and that's where we pick up with you all rolling initiative, please. Can we, so, okay. can we really oh, quickly shit. preface this whole thing by saying, while we do this, the entire city of race is it's burning, burning. Like, <laughs> and that, that's where we're supposed to be. Listen, we're supposed, man. To, be, we're supposed to be in race. race Saving Wraith, Wraith, Wraith has already burned. There's no point going anymore. Let's just have fun. <laughs> okay, All so right, we're rolling so initiative. Make, so click on your click on your token before you roll initiative, and then it'll put you automatically into my turn order. Ah, uh, yep, 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 uh, yep. Fuck now. Oh, Alfie, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, click on token. Alfie, initiative. Ah, uh, no four. Tora. Oh no. Oh boy. I feel like Tora oh. is the only one who cares here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, which written on a one, Zaza, I believe. One moment, please. Uh, initiative. I can see his, what he rolled. I'm pretty sure I can see what he rolled. He rolled what a 22. He roll? <laughs> that that yep. seems unlikely. Oh, he has a plus yeah. four to his initiative. Of course oh, he so does. He, he goes first, doesn't he? He goes first. Of course he does. So he's probably just going to get even more stabby. To te te <laughs> technically has his stab. Is that st initial stab that he did, was that his turn? Uh, no, yeah, that, that was, was that was the thing what? that kicks off the initiative. Now oh, he gets no. another turn. S oh, you're so fucking joking. Oh, Sounds Brett, you're dying. See you later, Brett. See you later, Brett. <laughs> See you, Brett. This is what the guy is doing. He's just going... <laughs> <laughs> I've got so um, much initiative right. to stay. <laughs> a second, I need to add Zazo's initiative order, because it's pulled separately. Who are these other people? That's not what I meant. What's going on? Oh, have we got a whole lot... We've got the guards are going to help us, I guess. That's awesome. The guards are oh, in the, the guards are there, and they have just heard a scream of pain from uh, Bob. 
Ah, oh, nice. So we've, we've got help. We've got help. Yeah, this is not a um, this is not a surprise round for anyone because you uh, you all did hear a scream of pain and you're all active in that in that sort of frame of mind. So yeah. you all do get to act in, uh, normally on your initiative. So it's just you don't that unfortunately save me. I'm going to riot. <laughs> I'm going to talk in and I'm going to riot. I'm pretty sure you're going to die. You're going to die, but it's, it's just really about. Quite it's, awesome. it's, it's quite just awesome. about not letting you die. You're going. Sorry, you're going to go into death save, but we just need to not yeah. let you die. Die. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All right. So on his turn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> on his turn, he's going to uh, he's going to drag the sword out of your stomach about halfway, and then push right. down on the hilt, and then push back up Ooh. again. He's trying to get oh, up inside your rib cage. That's oh, me kidney. Whoa. No, that's um, your heart. Down. Wow, that's... Yeah, he's, no. trying to, he's trying to go for vital organs right Is now. Is Bob still keen on this guy at this point? <laughs> she's, a, she's very confused. Wow. <laughs> she's, so, now, what's your, she's now what's aware your that he's class? obviously a, a So she's like, is that a yes? Um, no. Oh, I feel all warm that... inside. Oh, <laughs> that's your blood, bud. Um, <laughs> uh, 13. We've got a 13 for an armor class yeah. currently. Yeah. Uh, with, with advantage, that would have been a natural 20, but he didn't get advantage. He uh, It was just a regular attack. So that's 15. What 15 to hit. Heard. Yeah, it was, I think somebody, one of my neighbors is doing some sort of work, unfortunately. I can't oh, do anything good, about that. Good, good, good. It's literally just started, like, as we started streaming. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> um, so that's 15 to hit. That will hit, unfortunately. He manages to get it up in there, and he does... <laughs> Uh, Outrageous! Oh that's no! Uh, that's ten. I have a, I have a, I have eight health currently. That's, what are you talking about? Yeah, that does twenty six <laughs> piercing I'm damage. I'm dead. What are you? You are not dead. About? You're not dead. You're unconscious. You're close <laughs> yeah, to death. That doesn't make a lot of you're sense. You're dying. <laughs> so you feel this. Was... You feel the pain <clears throat> rack through you. Um, it wasn't enough to outright kill you. He would oh, have needed right. to do thirty five for that. Um, okay. <laughs> But he, he, it, 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 is, it is enough to suddenly take your breath away. You feel like a, a lung has been punctured, and oh, you no. suddenly start to pass out. Um, oh, in, in case, in case you don't happen to wake up again, yeah. What do you think? What do you think Bab's last words would be? Um, <laughs> you're. Fuck! I've been stabbed. Fuck. <laughs> I've been stabbed. Help! <laughs> I, say I've been stabbed. Help as loud as I can. <laughs> Say that, Brett. <laughs> we heard a scream. No, no, we know she's so, been stabbed. We heard a scream. You know she's okay. been stabbed. Yeah. Um, it would be... So, so it would be... or not keen or... Tora, put some pants on. Those are my last words. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the, 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 the knife gets stabbed right up inside you. <laughs> Tora, put some pants on! <laughs> and then the pain just reaches through you and, and just, like, you, you get the tunnel vision and your whole vision <laughs> oh, goes to blackness. Shit. You don't feel right. yourself hit the ground. Why was cool. old mate, like, such a stabby... Yeah. I guess we'll find out, hopefully. Uh, it's then, like so convenient. Next up is uh, Freddy, who uh, hears the scream and runs Hello, out. Freddy. Um, and he gets with his 25 feet, he gets to there and then sees what's happening and says, Oh, God! <laughs> he, hits something on, he hits something on his, uh, on his hip, which uh, seems to activate some sort of a mechanical device. Oh. Um, and he, he screams, Oh, God, this, something's happening! And then he manages to dash as a bonus action uh, back inside and screaming the whole time, she's getting stabbed! <laughs> um, and then as his action, he is going to uh, dash again and he's going to get behind this wall here, uh, shouting at the guards, go help her, go help her! Uh, and yeah. that is his turn. Uh, then it is the guards' turn. Go this guards, save her for us! Like fucking ass. Yeah. <laughs> just going to be watching me fight myself here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, with 30 feet, they get to there, not within melee range, unfortunately. Um, so right. they are going to run out there with their shields and their spears. And when they get there, they, they sort of assess the situation. And as their action, they're going to dash uh, and get around him so that they can attack him next time. So that's going to be to there. And with a dash, he can get to there. All right. Cool. I'm unconscious. Do I still do something or not? Or I'm just, uh, yeah. Yes, you do do something. You make what's called a death saving throw. We'll get oh, to that yeah. in a moment. Oh, so, Torok, you're up. Right. Can I just ask, is there, a, is there a window or anything I can jump through on this wall, this right wall? Or is uh, it this solid? one here is a window. It is a tiny window. If you can see, if you can see the size of that window, Alfie okay, well, could fit through it. Alfie could fit through this window. Oh, okay, Zaza could fit through with a squeeze, but you... Nah. I can't fit through. Okay, so I'm just going to charge around as well. I'm, um, um, yeah, I'm just going to come running. So I guess 
I and to move your token. Move, uh, uh, yeah. And if you uh, remember, you can right click to drop a little measuring tool behind yourself. Yeah, that's as far so as you can go. Yeah. So you can't get to melee range, but you can get uh, you can get close enough to throw him. Uh, as you come running around the corner, you see this guy with the hood still up, and he's and he's just as you wa as you're walking around, he's lowering Bab to the ground with a with his sword still in a gut. Bob. Uh, oh. I am gonna fire a my longbow. All right. So as you're running, you hear in the scream that someone's getting stabbed. So you fling your sh longbow off the sh off the shoulder as you run, and you yeah. whoosh, fire. All right. Let's do it. Uh, twelve. I don't. Nope. Twelve will not hit, unfortunately. So oh, you, no. you, you, you send off a send off an arrow, but as you're running, your your aim's a little bit off and it shoots yeah, over. Oh God! Missing a <laughs> <laughs> just, just shoots me instead. Uh, Torok, <laughs> apologize. It wasn't it wasn't a natural one. Don't worry about it. All right. So uh, that was your one attack. I think at this level you only get one attack. Um, is there anything yeah. you can do as a bonus section? No, I can't go any further. Um, do, 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 do. Have Disa you? I've got disarming attack, but is you haven't used me? you haven't used your action surge. Um, that's a thing you can do as a fighter, which allows you to just take another action immediately. Um, yeah, let's do that. So you can dash as your uh, you can take another action as an action surge and then dash, cool. or you can uh, wait for a further round and then take two attacks what? in a go in a round. If you've got no, anything dead. that could heal me from a distance, do that. I got nothing that can heal. He's so the only I'm, he's the only non magic user. In I am all about oh, the yeah. damage. I don't do don't worry, damage. Brett. Don't worry, Brett. I got you. Or maybe even. Okay. Yeah. Does if I, I, um, here's a question. <laughs> when someone's in their death throes, can you heal them? You or can, yes. If, yeah. Okay, sweet. And that brings them back up, doesn't it? It's the quickest. Well. Yeah, healing, adding healing spells to them or something is the quickest oh, yeah. way to get them back oh, okay, on their feet. And she's right. not. She's not in. She's not in negative health, is she? She's just at zero. Basically. No, there's no in in fifth edition. There's no such thing as negative health. Um, if you, if you ever take enough damage while you're at zero to go to to below your hit point maximum in negative you, uh, effectively, you then she would have died outright. But so that's any the only time that comes so any it. healing we do takes her to that positive. It takes her to positive numbers. Yes, she's at okay. zero hit points currently. Okay. Just give me one. A single hit point. <laughs> if, I, if I dash, I, can, mm -hmm. I can't attack again after that dash, can I? No, but you can. See, so if you take your action surge, you get one more action that you can use. You can either use that to dash, you can use it to attack again with your longbow, um, or you can use it to something else. I gotta try longbow again. I think that's the only. This. All right. So action surge, you 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 dig down into your into your depth of um, of quick acting uh, fighter abilities, and yeah. you quickly draw out another uh, arrow and fire it off. All right, Torok, let's go. Natural twenty. Yes. Oh yes, right. brother. That definitely hits, and it does seventeen piercing damage. Nine wow. plus yes. eight yeah. piercing damage. Holy crap! Get him. <laughs> All right, yeah. seventeen piercing damage. So you hit him, uh, and the the arrow strikes down into his shoulder, <clears throat> and you see that the um the it, it seems to damage because it cuts into some of the cloak and everything, <clears throat> but it also splinters. <clears throat> the rest of the the um shaft of the arrow <clears throat> sm sm uh, smashes from. Him. So it seems to oh. have hurt him, but um, it doesn't stick inside him. Okay. Hmm. Uh, so that was your action surge. Uh, oh I think that's down. everything you can do then. So Zazar, yeah. it is now your turn. Jump through the window. Do it. Right. Do it. Well, do it. can I? Can I, um, have I, I, I kind of have line of sight here, don't I? Um, let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you hear the scream, you kind of look through the window and you can see um, he's from where you are. He's got three quarters cover. Um, but yeah, you can. You can Bob's see it, at least. I see Bob's in trouble. <laughs> I better do something about it. <laughs> this is not I'm, funky, man. Does he say this aloud? Does he, or is this an internal monologue? Yes, to himself. I see Bob's in trouble. <laughs> I better do something about it, man. <laughs> man, this town's really gotten me into a chill mood. Uh, what I'm going to do, you I'm going to cast... You David Bowie from Labyrinth. With the you're, you're, like, you're, you're a mix of <laughs> David oh, Bowie. Zaza. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to cast Hideous Laughter on him. All right. So, uh, he has to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, wisdom save. He Oh, he's got a nice fat zero to that. Oh. That's a five. He fails. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Hideous laughter. Zaza, -za, hideous wait, 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 wait. laughter. Is it, <laughs> is it a charm effect? It is not a charm effect. What's Alfie Ooh. doing this whole time? Okay. Just panic. Um, just just waiting for his turn. Panic. So, um, what do you do? You said that you uh, are going to have to 
say some sort of a joke when you cast this, right? Oh yes. Uh, um, <laughs> hey, hooded, hey, hooded man, look at me over here. How do you make holy water? <laughs> no. It's just the same hey, joke hooded, every time. Hooded man. He's got one joke. Hey, hooded man. Hey, hooded man. He's, he's, How do you make holy water? You, and he looks towards you. What? <laughs> How do you make holy water? A shot in his shoulder. He looks curious. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, holy water. <laughs> he's currently still stabbing someone. <laughs> he's giving the punchline. I'll, 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 I'll tell you. He seems like he's not going to set you up. Boil the hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's something yeah. very weird about the way he's laughing as yeah. well. It's like it's not, it's not a natural laugh. He's just, he's, it's kind of like emotionless laughing. Boil the hell out of it. <laughs> Uh, he just begins to emotionless uh, laugh, just going through the motions of. Uh, <laughs> I'm just bleeding out on the ground. It's uh, fine. He, so, he, he laughs so much uh, that he falls prone, uh, and he is God. incapacitated. Great, thanks, Ron. Good work. The joke, the joke great. shouldn't great. be. There should be a disadvantage for that joke. But all right. <laughs> How do you make holy water boil the hell out of it? <laughs> End of his turn. Okay. All right. Oh, good. So uh, then it is the uh, the the commoners and the the bartenders and stuff. Um, the bartender, the the bar owner, uh, turns to her waitress and says, "Becca, go and check uh, what's happening." And so she runs outside, um, and she just calls back through the door. Uh, the shady guy from the corner. He were he were uh, he, he's doing some. It's about all they can manage. Um, and so Tim goes back into here and, uh, you know, Hey, Something you're not Tim. sure what he's doing. It's a classic Tim. Classic um, Tim. I've never liked that guy. You see, <laughs> uh, you see that, um, uh, Christy, the bar owner reaches down beneath the, um, the counter and starts doing something. Uh, and this monk, uh, just steps back behind Zaza. <laughs> uh, I think that's all of them. It is now Bob's turn. So Bob. So how this works is that when you start your turn at zero hit points and not stable, um, i.e. dying, you need to make a death saving throw. So you just roll okay, a ready? d20, you don't add anything to it, um, and you have to get an 11 or more to succeed. That's a home mm. rule, guys. Don't get on my back. Uh, 11 or more to succeed, 10 or, uh, 10 or less is a fail. Do I? Can I just click through on the death save? You know how there's like a death saves thing? Uh, or do you want me to just roll so a d20? Like yes, a, you can, you can just click, 40, through, click the word death save. 49, 48. Shit. Don't worry, we're coming for you. So, Mark, and that so, is a fail? Bob, <laughs> yeah. for reasons that I'm not going to get into yet, uh, can you do yeah. it again? Shit, okay. Shit. Alright, that is, that is one fail. Okay. Great. Oh, that's, okay. Um, you, are slipping, you are slipping closer to death. I am dying. You are dying. Yeah. If you accrue three failed death saves before you accrue three successes, you are dead. Cool. Great. Don't do that. Yeah. At that point, at that point, healing magic can't help you, but rev yeah. revivica revivification magic can help you, but it's costly and hard to acquire at level four. If and you guys don't pay for me it. to come back to life, I am disowning all of you. How much is it? I mean, I've got four copper. <laughs> <laughs> We'll pick up a banner. We'll pick up a banner and take it to the uh, next point. Yeah. All right. So that was Bob's turn. Uh, Fourteen. It's now your turn. <coughs> As um, you finish your electronic disco uh, beatboxing. Oh, that's right. You get the techno breakdown. Yeah. Oh no! That sounded like Barb's voice. She must be in danger. And uh, I run outside. How far can I actually get though? How you can get far? to about Torok, I think. Uh. Ah. Yeah, well. So there's ten. You can, yeah. If you right click as you're dragging, remember you can. Um, oh, that's right. Okay, so drop a little measuring tool I can get. It. I can get just behind Torok, unfortunately. Can I go like just above mm -hmm. him? Yeah, you can get to just next to him, I guess. There. Um. So you uh, can see from there. Torok's kind of in your way, but you can see what's going on. You can see uh, around the corner. You can't really see Barb at this stage, but yeah. you can see on the ground, uh, lying on the ground, sort of in the, in this sort of. Emotionless laughing. <laughs> That's horrifying. That's actually really scary. Can, can I? Uh, I'm just trying to think what I can do. D dashing would be my action, right? Not my bonus yeah, action. Yeah, dashing is an action. 
Um, I don't have anything an unless you're a rogue or a monk. I don't have anything else I can do as a bonus action, unfortunately. Can I just dash? Is there any space between Barb and the guy lying on the floor laughing? Can I just dash between them? Um, there's not a lot of space because he was literally right, right in her space with a knife in her gut, and then she, he he took her to the ground, and then he went down next to her. So it's like they're kind of lying side okay. by side. I'm just gonna dash right next to him, threateningly above him. Can yeah. I suggest that we, now that he's incapacitated, we don't necessarily kill him. We want to find out some information about this guy. Can we subdue him? This, Ooh, uh, you you idea. raise a good point. I'm going to get right next to him, so on my next turn, I can grapple him. Sure. Potentially. All right. Um, I do believe, as well, that some of your spells, now that you have level 2 spells, are... Uh, uh, level 1 spells, sorry. Um, some of your spells are bonus actions to cast. You have Thunderous Smite prepared, by the looks of it. So if you wanted to, you could cast that, which imbues your weapon with thunderous, sort of sonorous uh, sound energy. Um, and then oh, next time you hit section. it, boom, makes a loud explosion and does more damage. Uh, okay, well, just in <laughs> case uh, we find out that this guy does mean us harm, Ron, I'm going to okay. uh, I'm going to build thunderous smite up. So I just mark off a slot. Just like this guy laughing on the ground. Just... Yeah. So mark off a spell slot. <laughs> Bam! It lasts, for, it lasts for one minute or until you lose concentration or make the attack. Okay, cool. I've um, done that. So okay, as, you, as you're running, you're, 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 you're dashing forwards um, and then... You, you activate a part of your body that starts to vibrate, and then the axe that's on your back starts to vibrate and hum with uh, sonorous, thunderous energy. You uh, hurt my friend. I'm angry. And presumably you detach the axe and you have it in your hand in case Correct. you have to attack with it. All right. Standing so over him forward. incredibly Another. threateningly. <laughs> Ready to attack. All right, next it is Alfie. All right, let's fucking do this. <laughs> <laughs> Who did man, you just made the biggest mistake of your goddamn life. <laughs> right, Alfie heroically leaps through the window and <laughs> runs to Bob's side. All right, can you make an ath uh, athletics or acrobatics check? Here? Oh my oh, god, I want him to fail so bad. <laughs> You've been doing really Please bad with these so far. I really, I really want him to slam into the window. And just... Here comes Alfie! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Oh, Slams into the wall All like right, a foot oh, from the window. Here we go. I'm a two foot dwarf. Let's hope I'm, a th I'm an athletic one. <laughs> oh, hey, that's not bad. 13, not is, bad. Enough. 13 <laughs> is enough. You manage to. Yes. You, you leap forward, and because you chose athletics and acrobatics, you just take it like hurdles. You just run, run, run. You leap, leap up and through the window. Oof, you land on the other side, and you are on the other side. And you see, for the first time, you assess this whole situation. Barb is on the ground. Quite a heavy amount of blood is coming out of her abdomen now. Okay, go. I, uh, all right. All right, so I use my spell of cure wounds. Oh, uh, nice. It's a very nice. Uh, Legend! So I uh, cast it what level? I don't know. How do, what do I do now? What, what, how much, you've, how got, much you've got level 1s and level 2s. If you cast it at level 1, it's 1d8 plus your spellcasting modifier. If you cast yeah, it at level 2, it's 2d8 plus your spellcasting modifier. All right, let's do level 2 then. All right. I think it... Set up to roll naturally. Oh, yeah, so you do nice. eight plus nine. You do you heal seventeen hit points, Bob. Yee yee. Wow, so you are what's you up? are you are still prone, but you are uh, conscious now. Elfie to the rescue. Yeah, you did good, Elfie. Nice work. Good, good job. I, but so by the way, I, I forgot to say on my last turn that as I came round the corner and saw that Bob was on the ground, that this is what uh, number fourteen's crying sounds like. No, Barb. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what his crying sounds like. Okay. Can, we, can we do the high pitch Can we do? The... <laughs> oh. So 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 he, he was he was super sad when he came around the corner and went. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, he, he's distraught. Oh, he's distraught that he's seen his <laughs> traveling companion as uh, was dead. But now she's good, so it's fine. So Alfie comes leaping out the window with a staff in hand. Poof, he turns and slams it down on the ground next to her, uh, and this 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 wave of greenish energy poof, comes out of the end of it and into Barb's body poof, and down to her gut. And then you see it sort of stitch. It forms almost like a matrix of uh, of webs poof, of green energy that then seep into her body. And where they seep in, uh, a lot of the wounds have closed up. 
Um, she's still got a, a little mm. bit of bleeding going on, but she seems to <coughs> come, um, her eyes uh, slam it open. Work, and... Welcome back, Bob. You got oh back. my God. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what happened. <laughs> Don't, yeah, there's a lesson to be learned here, Bob, that we need to, we'll talk to you about it later. <laughs> we'll talk to you about it later. So Alfie, that was your movement and your action. Have you got yeah. anything you want to do as a bonus action? Is, I'm trying to find out, I can't remember, is turning into an animal, is that a bonus action or an action? Uh, for you, because you're a shepherd and not a moon druid, uh, it is a an action to do. An action, okay, sweet. Uh, so no, I don't think there's anything else I can really do, so... Alright then, so then it is back to the top of the round, the hooded figure. So, he is laughing and laughing and laughing, I think he makes his save again at the end of his turn, the target must succeed. Blah, blah, blah. Creature with an intelligence. At the end of each of its turn, and each time it takes damage, blah, blah, blah. All right. So it, it spends its turn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's very weird. Why is he laughing so much? Yeah. He is my Dirk's range murderer. It's my Dirk's man. <laughs> All right. Infested and move. unable to stand, but not unable to move. So he is going to use his movement to crawl away at half speed. Gets him to there. As he leaves your range, um, all of you, all of the people standing next to him, get an attack of opportunity on him if you wish to take it. Do it. So well, this guy's gonna die. He's gonna die. Um, <laughs> do, does does that mean like an attack of opportunity? Could I have tried to grab him and grapple him? Uh, no, grapple is not a thing that you can do as an attack of opportunity. It's a specialized attack. Ah, okay. Uh, Just a physical attack if you want to and, take and it. And I, uh, okay, cool. And I can't. See if you want to take it. The guards will. So we'll um, roll for them while you guys decide. Shit, I kind of almost want to pin him down with a um, with a what? It, what's it called? Uh, the, that's um... gonna miss. And the second, oh, the second guard hits for four piercing damage. Get it. I I want to try and pin him down with a what you call right. it? I can't remember the word of it. Javelin. Uh, you have your axe out at the moment, so to switch to a javelin would not be able to do as a uh, as part of the opportunity attack. It has to be a very quick poof, single oh, attack with geez. whatever you happen to have in hand. I could accidentally kill him if I do this. Powerful Just kill him. We're killing him. I'm killing Tor Torox in for the kill. Yeah, I'm mind you, I, I guess uh, um, number 14 is probably enraged. He's okay, like... it, here, here it goes. Great, great axe is going for him. With, uh, so... Ah, oh, I didn't do a very good swing anyway. <laughs> that, will, oh, that will not hit. So you, <laughs> you still the the energy didn't impact, so it's still in the uh, axe, um, but the attack did not hit as he crawls away. <laughs> he seems to like tuck his uh, leg away just at the right second and avoid your axe blow. Um, I'll be your next to him as well. Did you want to have a little whack with your quarterstaff? Yeah, why not smack him? Um, <laughs> smack him as he runs off. <laughs> Give me a little you're, like a, you're like a no. grandma with grandma with a purse. Ah. Like a grandma with a purse is whacking it. <laughs> you little like, shit, you, you bitch. You selfie boy. You've been very not. <laughs> uh, right, oh, what do I need to... Uh... <laughs> Just look for your handbag. And on, your, click on, your, on your character sheet, go down to where it says quarter stuff. Quarter and click that. One, one or two handed. Uh... Yeah, what the fuck? Why is that not? Uh, oh, right, right, here we go. Here we go. Gotcha. <laughs> That's not your proficiency with quarter steps. <laughs> so you shout at him, I know how to use quarter steps! <laughs> I know how to use my quarter step. Watch it, you laughing rip. <laughs> in the central column of your page, yeah, about that... in the center of the page, you see oh, your there, axe. I, see. Net... I was clicking on the item thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Here it comes. He's crawling away. There, there it is. is. That's, That's a natural <laughs> one. He begins to crawl hey, away. I just healed Bob. What did you do? This was a fucking arrow. I got him! He, he got he him. Begins to, he be begins to crawl away. One of the guards misses him with a spear. The other one hits him. Uh, and then you see you see um, a number 14 come down. Wham! With a big axe swing. It embeds itself about three inches into the ground as he, as he sort of rolls. <laughs> oh, and dude, then about, about three seconds later... Alfie then goes, oh, <laughs> <laughs> he reaches out and slams his quarterstaff in in the same spot. 
Um, Bab, you are prone, but you can take an attack of opportunity uh, with disadvantage on him. I'm staying the hell away from this. I don't want to get involved. All right. I just, I just escape with my bloody life. Leave me All right. out of so, it. All right, in so incapacitated means he can't take any actions or bonus actions, but he's taking his movement to get to there. That's going to be the end of his turn. At the end of his turn, he gets to remake the save. <laughs> That's a natural 20. Uh, oh, he, what? At the end of his turn, um, he stops laughing. And he uh, is no longer affected by the spell, but that's the end of his turn. Cool. Uh, then it is Freddy's turn. Freddy is inside. He's not sure what to do. He comes back outside. He wants to help his uh, his son, as it were. So he squeezes down. Let's see. He gets to there. Bonus bonus action dash to there because of his thing that he activated. Uh, and then as his action, he's going to touch. Um, t uh, he's going to touch. Let's see. How will this be? He casts with. Oh, that's what it is. It, as he's running, he's, he's grabbing out um, some tools from his various uh, pockets and pouches around his body. And he gets up to 14 and he says, uh, I've got a temporary thing that might help here. And he, he, he jams something into the back of your legs, 14. Oh. And he starts to twist and click, 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 click. And he and as an artificer, he is casting Long Strider on you. So for the time being, your uh, speed is now increased by 10. Oh. So I go 40. Your speed is 40 instead of 30 for the, for the time being. Damn. Ah, oh, man, this guy, we should keep this guy around. He's useful. <laughs> he does that, and then it is the guards' ready. turns. The guards are going to run after him and take two attacks. He's still prone, so they get advantage. Uh, that's going to be a spear one-handed, and a spear <laughs> one-handed. 19 will hit, and a 20 will hit. So that is a total of 11 damage to him. Oh, Damn. the guards are doing, like, the majority of the work here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can we, can yeah. these guards come along with us on the rest of the team? <laughs> Listen, Aren't you glad you didn't fight them there? What are you guys, why don't you guys go and save Ray? Because yeah. we, we're not doing much. <laughs> he's, he's, still, he's still okay. He's still uh, up and active. All right. Then it is Taurok. You're up. Taurok! Yeah. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to charge him while he's on the ground. And with my great axe, I'm going to cut his head off. All right. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. So Good one. Wow. All right, Taurok. Taurok, want to know a bit more information about this guy? I, I am just enraged. But I, yeah, with thirty <laughs> with thirty feet, you can just about get to him as he's running, and you bring out your your you drop your uh, longbow, or are you putting it away? Ah, uh, putting it away. Putting it away is a bonus action, so you. Ah, uh, okay. So maybe I'll just drop it because I've got my cross. Drop it anyway. where you are. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You drop your longbow where you were where you were, and run and grab your uh, great axe out instead. Yeah. Make yeah. attack. He is yes. on the okay, ground, so, so you have I'm advantage. Ranged. Okay, two handed battle axe. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Oh, that's not bad. Ooh. That will hit. So he takes 10 points of slashing damage. Torok! Uh, Torok fun! And, I want to and, rush and with through that, so he is, brave. He is showing signs of being uh, hurt now, badly hurt. So you you dig it down, whack! Um, Torok, can you, make a, can you make a perception check, please? Uh, I can. Yeah, hang on. Uh... In theory, yes. <laughs> <laughs> on your it is sheet, possible the to... Side in the skills column. Oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> Alphabetical order. Oh, right there, right there, god. A five. No, oh. you, you, in the moment, ah, you just smack him in it. I'm gonna smack him. You're pre you feel pretty good that you uh, you landed the hit fairly well. Yeah. I'll just stay in there for a bit, I might. Yeah. Uh, so that was your action, your movement. Oh, I don't think you can do anything as a bonus. Are you doing anything as a bonus? Um... No, not this time. No. <laughs> so he could have put his <laughs> long pot away. Uh, Zaza, you're up. Right. Time for some magic missiles, I think. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Right. So you need to be able to see him for magic missiles. So you walk That's forward right so that you can see him Very through good. this window a little. Uh, okay. And then you hold your hand out and... Do, doing the David Bowie from Labyrinth kind of <laughs> thing. Here we go. And casting magic missile and... A one, two, three, Zaza. <laughs> can you uh, can you roll that, roll that by clicking Why on the Zaza? Uh, uh, oh, uh, roll on the. I uh, love that. I love that. <laughs> I love that Zaza's part Pokemon. It makes me happy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, that's uh, so. I mean, sorry. Roll, you don't need to roll to attack with magic missile. It's the only spell that automatically hits. All right, yeah. So you uh, you need to click on magic missile, and it'll automatically roll the damage for you. Like on the spells tab uh, oh, of your uh, character sheet. It's level 2 now, isn't it? Um, yeah, you can cast Magic Missile at level 1 or level 2. You have both. Oh, oh, I'll cast at level 2. Here we go. Alright, so four of them. 
Nice. All right. So that is uh, eight plus five. You do uh, 13 points of damage to him as he's on the ground. Nice. Good work. One, two. So, and it goes like this. So this is four of them. One, two, three. Zaza, 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 Zaza. <laughs> My God. You go to the window and you Zaza, 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 and they <laughs> spiral out. They go around Torok and the guards and they and what, slam it's into on the ground on the other side. Die movement. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to see this animated. I want to see this in an episode. How it plays out. I, th I think I think Mike is planning on. Yeah, Mike's animating. animating. Mike, Mike's animating it. He got me to do the voice for it. So Wait, Zaza. What? Seriously? Yeah. Just yeah. I don't, just just a short. Oh right 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 right. Okay, let's go. Zaza, you have that. used your action. You need uh, to use your movement and bonus if you do anything with. Right, I'm going to jump through the up. window if I can. All right. So I mean, if it's just your movement and you're not actually going too far, you can use your whole movement to just climb through without a check. Right. But if you through. want to like get somewhere, then. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. It's like, uh, I just like that he narrates. Right, I'm through. Like, <laughs> right, I'm through. Um, just right remember, we saw you, mate. We, we saw remember you to tick off your spells as you're using yeah, them. Yeah, so I've used two of them. Uh, yeah. so, so I've got one remain. How many did I start with? Because we start uh, fresh. I think you were all at full. Full. I think you were. Oh, all we started at full, so I'm down to two. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's Zaza. Uh, then it is the uh, the the. Um, peoples, the, the regular commoners and such. The monk does nothing. Um, Becca walks over here to get a better view, but some somewhere where she's going to be safe. Bigger um, or Bicker? Is her name Bicker? Becca, yeah. Bicker. Uh, and then Christy seems to come up from behind the bar, but none of you are inside now, so none of you see what she's doing. Uh, and then I will go to Ob... Which, which layer is he on? There he is. Is she just, boost is she just boosting it off <laughs> north? <laughs> She's like, uh, that's him. So then it is Bob. Bob, you are conscious. So what are you doing for your turn? Um, shit. I don't even think about it to be honest. Um, <laughs> too, too, too much <laughs> lying on the ground. Ahead of time. I know. I've been. It's, oh, I've been so like. Is, is she like? like is she like? Completely back in action now. Like injured, but back and full ready yeah, to roll. She's she's back and ready to roll. Uh, she's conscious. She's still feeling like pain in the abdomen, but you're not even bloodied at this stage. Because of 17 is pretty good healing for someone with only can 27 I, max. Can I inflict wounds? Perhaps? Uh, yes, that's a touch spell, so you have to get to him. So you are oh, currently damn, prone, really which means you have to stand up. Oh. All right. Would, so standing up is an action in itself? No, standing up is half your movement speed. So right. you, you'd have so 15 speed left. I'm going to stand up, and I'm going right, to so waddle on over here. Oops. And you toddle on over there, and that's about um, do I have to be? Do I have to be here? To the cost. Uh, it has to be yeah, right. fifteen. You you won't be able to get next to him from where you were, unfortunately. Right, okay. uh, That's right. You'd, you'd still be about five, ten feet away from him. Okay. Um. In that case, is there something that I can do that I don't need? To you can use your action to dash to get next to him, but then you can't cast a spell. Nah. Or I might you can just cast here something to... that you can cast something that does um ranged this... effect. I don't really have anything, do I? I've got a shield of faith, but no one needs that. I needed that like 20 minutes ago, to be honest. She just constantly keep it up when you're talking to strangers. <laughs> when you, Literally. When you flirt, always have your shield on you. Um, <laughs> That's what my mum always just said. Just flirt over the tip uh, of your shield. like. I can do Guiding Bolt, and that is radiant damage, yeah? So I can do that from a range? That's um, right. Um, unfortunately, so with him being prone, you do have disadvantage on the attack. But if you want to take that anyway... Yeah, why not? Let's give it a go. All right. At this point as well, at this point as well, you see that um, as he's as he was crawling away, um, you see his 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 image as uh, of his body starts to diverge into two images. Uh oh, get out! Uh -oh. Get out of here! I he's, say what? So as he's as he's moving, uh, he's now shifting uh, image into two different images. It makes it harder to hit him, and everyone has disadvantage on attacks as he's trying to escape. Oh man, I'm uh, gonna I'm gonna run up and I'm gonna split him in half properly. <laughs> I'm, um, I might cast this at a level two. I think I can cast it at two. So I'm just All gonna right, so it's do it. Guiding just bolt. Do it. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, oh nice. wow. So that is right. an, so with disadvantage, that's an eighteen to hit, and eighteen will still hit. 
So you, uh, how does it look when you're, how does it look when you're casting spells? I'm just injured. I don't even know. I might just pull <laughs> middle finger at him and it just comes up. <laughs> you thrust your middle finger and, and the, this guiding bolt of radiant energy shoots from your hand. That's a, that's a very <laughs> devilish thing to do. I like it. It hits him for uh, 21 damage. 21 radiant damage. Damn, son. That's what you get, son. You notice that as he gets hit for this much this much damage, um, he starts to the, the the image that was shimmering and splitting into two quickly solidifies back into one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, On that's what that, that's what you get. Light, the radiant light from the impact where it hits seems to spread throughout his body and illuminate him, uh, and so the next person has advantage on the attack. Ooh. Yes. Yes. That's me. Um, oh, yeah. All right, so that was Barb. I believe that was everything she can do. And then yeah. it is uh, number 14, your turn. But do we want a question? Right. I, I, could I could go question. in and grapple him. Like, Rob, uh, a question for you, Rob, so. about how, how these things work. Yeah. If you do, do you have to, if you want to get information out of someone and you're, and you're in the middle of a fight, mm -hmm. can, can you like just go for it and then the, like then the, there'll be like discussions at the end you can... of that? You can what choose. You can choose to make something non-lethal if it makes story sense for it to be so. Okay. Uh, you can't. You can't non-lethal with something that doesn't make sense, like I'm, shooting I'm someone gone. with an arrow through the eye or something. That's <laughs> not lethal. I've got, I've got an idea. What's yeah. that, Alfie? Alfie. I, I can charm him. I'm a very charming guy. Oh. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you can. You can. You can attack person. somebody and say, "I'm trying to knock him out rather than kill him," and then I, I'll just narrate it differently. Okay, so I, I do uh, have a spell called Charm. Person. Oh well, then I might so I might try them, grapple him. Yeah. Charm him. Nice. Charm the pants off him. I'm gonna Ooh. I'm gonna I'm gonna boost on over between uh between Barb and Torok. Uh, All right. I'm just gonna push through them and get into here. Uh, and then I'm gonna grapple him. <laughs> so you just push them out out the way. Uh, yeah. Torok gets pushed over here. Barb gets pushed a little out here. There's a little, uh, little room. And then are you just like I'm sorry, time is of the essence. Yeah, use your words, number fourteen. Come on, <laughs> we're all friends here. <laughs> With your renewed speed, you feel like the cogs and uh, and levers in inside your legs that uh, act as muscles and tendons are seemingly working on overdrive with the additional uh, tweaking of your yes. father. Uh, and and you're moving extra fast. You run over. Are you just like grabbing grabbing him, or are you uh, sorry grabbing I, him? I want to like... literally put him like so. His arms are in my arms as well as his body. So he physically can't move at all like can't get his <laughs> arms out can't do anything all right so you are grappled you have grappled him uh, or at least you are going to attempt to so you need to make an athletics check oh, i've got i've got i've got plus check. five on that baby or acrobat. and i've got advantage on this athletics check as well uh no because you're not uh raging or anything it's uh, oh, i the, thought the you glowing, said that the glowing the glowing thought... radiant is for the next attack uh, okay well regardless Oh, 11, damn it. 11. Oh, uh, so, you, so you run forwards and you poof, you drive your hand hand down into the small of his back, trying to grab his arm and pin it up behind him. But he seems to whoop, dart off to the side with un, like unnatural uh, damn it. Li live He's just like abilities. scrambling back while all these people like... <laughs> <laughs> There's literally five people he standing be, over him He must right be now. like, man, <laughs> oops, I, I should have really assisted that situation I before. I made guys. a horrible decision. Look at this. You Army drag your hand down towards his lower back, and he spins over, like face up now. And uh, Adam, can you make a perception check, please? Uh, yeah, yes, I can. Teethling in the whole world loses oh. his mind. That's that's a natural <laughs> one with a negative modifier. So that is a zero. <laughs> Uh, you're just you're just focused on getting this guy, and you don't really pay attention to your surroundings too much. Number four is just like. Duh, duh. <laughs> I am so focused on attacking, on grabbing him. I'm not even paying attention to anything. <laughs> is that what you say is allowed? Like, yep, he one hundred. <laughs> he he, do, he does, well, Alan, he he can't have interior thoughts, so he has to say everything aloud. Yeah. I, well, I, I am really embarrassed. Really confused about why you and me have that in common, man. <laughs> I, I am really embarrassed that I didn't manage to capture why are you him. Telling us why you say, why you talk, what? So, so you know what's going on. <laughs> Alfie. Yes, what? You're up. What's happening? All right. <laughs> Did he All forget right. briefly while he was like, yeah. I heal. Sorry, yeah. I just saw a very pretty butterfly and it took my attention. <laughs> uh, right. Hooded figure, I'm going to charm the pants off you. Ooh. Uh, so, yes, I want to use charm person. 
on a so need some team. music in the background. Uh, you need to get to where you can see him. I believe Charm Person is a is not a touch spell. It's like a thirty foot oh, range. Move out of the fucking way. You should what? be These... if you just go just south, just below so, him. Yeah, if you just if you just head over yeah, here yeah. or something. I'll just get down to there. There we go. <sighs> All right. Up, so I can see him now. And you take your you take your staff and you sort of wave it back and forth in sort of a hypnotic and, kind of pattern. And I, kind of a, and I do a sexy dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, now I want to see a little gnome, a little old gnome doing a sexy dance. <laughs> Trying to charm. Somebody come to you. We need some, need some like, we need some, we need some, some like really high uh, sponsorship for this so that we can actually get all this whole an all animated. The animation yeah. is very expensive. Yeah. Hey Alfie, I could do a bit of a like a little bit of a beat for you if you want to, if it helps you with your sex dance, man. <laughs> Go do for it, it Zaza. Okay. All right. So he has to make a. Yeah. Can you uh, can you cast a spell, Ben? Can you click oh, on the spell? Yeah. <laughs> oh my please. What, what? Sorry. What? Click, click on the spell on your spell slot. Yeah. Like click on the uh, charm person so that I, yeah. it shows up in the chat and I can see what the wisdom save and stuff is. Level two. Nope. You're casting it. There we go. Abjuration. Humanoid. You can see. Charm humanoid. Wisdom saving throw. And what's your um, what's your spell DC? Yeah. Top of your spell slot. Top, top, top of your spell page. Uh, my spell save DC. Yep. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, so he actually, <laughs> he got a thirteen exactly with no modifier. Um, so you 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 sort of charming, <laughs> and then he kind of looks your way. Um, yeah. Alfie, can you what your do you think your about this? Your passive insight is fairly high with you being a, uh, a wise yeah. druid. Can you make an insight check, please? What is going on? This guy would be so confused. Alfie, make a wisdom say, uh, wi an insight check, please. Insight check, yeah, hang on, hang on. Uh, there we go. Alright. All right. Oh, yeah. um, what, you, what you notice, he, he rolls over like to, almost towards you to look up at um, uh, number 14, who's just trying to drive his hand down on him. Uh, and then he, he looks over at the movement from you. And sees you yeah. dancing. It seems it to not affect. It seems to not affect him. But you also notice that the top. The, the, um, you also notice that the scarf has slipped a little, and his face is just showing no emotion. He's not. He's not. He's not seeming to the be showing any sort of signs of scared. Or, he doesn't seem to be like in any sort of. He's not acknowledging that he's in danger. Well, wow. he he's definitely not human. He may be. All. He may be charmed already or something. Like maybe he's doing bidding for someone else. So, uh, that was your movement and an action. Have you got anything you want yeah. to do as a bonus help? Bye, Brit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, why not? I want to I wanna do shillelagh. <laughs> shillelagh. What? <laughs> shillelagh. Yeah, I'm going to shillelagh. Um, you... It's not a, it's not a cantrip, oh, is it? I, I'm just refreshing because I lost Brett. Oh, I, I lost everyone, so I'm re Shillelagh's not a cantrip. Yeah, I've lost a few videos now. Um, it's not a cantrip, so you can't cast two spells in one round, unfortunately. Oh, it says it's a transmutation cantrip on my thing. And oh, it is? Bonus is... action. Yep, my, my mistake, I think. Shall I leave my sure. Learn D&D, &D, mate. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know, just, Bless you, there's, like there's only like 12 spells. It shouldn't be that hard for me to learn yeah, more. Yeah, exactly, mate. Think for once in your... <laughs> <laughs> so as you're, as you're dancing seductively and you, you realise it's not working because he's just showing nothing on his face... Oh, fuck it. Um, you you sort of uh, you, you, your hands go white knuckles around the, um, the 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 staff, and you see that the magic uh, within you <laughs> imbues the staff with magic, and now you have a, a, a quarter staff that'll do more damage. Yeah, what's up? Um, can you can you click Shalele on your spell sheet just so it pops up for everyone to see? Yeah, Shalele. There we go. Shalele. Thank you. Now everyone, now everyone, now everyone uh, watching uh, along. Shalala. I just wanted to say Shalala. Mm. <laughs> I initiate Shalala. <laughs> All right. It is now the hooded figure's turn. Um, right he is going to, as a bonus action, he's going to disengage so that he doesn't get any more attacks of opportunity. Oh, maybe he won't. Maybe think about this. So, firstly, he's going to stand up from prone. Uh, there are three people who could get attacks of opportunity on him. The guards of me. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Yeah. Um, if he doesn't disengage, he can get further. I think he's got to not disengage and take his chances. Yeah, he's going to have to. Um, so he just he just he, st he stands up. He manages to get to his feet, uh, and then he just backs away from you. 
Um, so all three of you guys can make attacks. Cool. Um, can I can I make what you were describing before as a non-lethal attack? Which one, sorry? Oh, yeah, with you, your you, great you, attacks? Like, like I want to try it just so I don't kill him. I feel like he might be so near death. If you're attacking, if you're attacking melee, like you just punch him, um, then that can be non-lethal. But attacking him with a great axe that's got thunder yeah, and smite on it. Yeah, that, that's I'm, what I was I'm asking. Okay, that that be fine. I'm, I'm just gonna squish him. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and squish him. Like a bug. Squish. I, I, I don't want him. To, I don't want him to get away. So I'm just gonna try squish. squish him. Number four, three. Right, so oh, and squish oh, it is. Yes, yeah, damn it. Squish yeah, it. Hit. <laughs> that will hit. Um, so that's six points of slashing damage, and then a whole bunch of um, uh, a whole bunch of th thunderous damage. Do you want me to? Um, cli I'll click thunderous smite so everyone can see. Yeah, you. click thunderous smite. So it comes up so people can see. Uh, it should do an extra 2d6 thunder damage. So can Ouch. you roll 2d6 for me, please? Um, now, this is something I haven't seen how to do. Uh, everyone's been doing it, and I don't know how to. Um, On your left... Uh, so there's a couple of ways to do it. Probably the quickest is just to write slash uh, roll yep. space 2d6. Two um, but D6. you can also do it from a button on the left side of your um, toolbar. For future reference, Adam, yeah, just... Oh, 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 I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that. I would rather people see how to do this. So, two D6s, so I just roll two, like... Oh, yeah, yep. great. You can hit the two next to the D6. Oh, and there we go. Six. Now, I, I, I'm happy to learn this. There you go. Bing! An extra five, cool. Uh, so, five plus the original six, so that's 11 points of damage. So, as you strike him down... <laughs> You hit him in the in the chest as he's pushing away, um, and describe the kill for me. Oh, he did. Um, <laughs> Great but, description. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he did. If, if, you'd have, if you'd have missed that, he would have been away as well because he, he can go 120 feet on his round. Oh yes, I'm glad wow, I did that then. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Um, wow. I uh, the the great axe basically just as he's like his back is turned, it just goes straight into his back and the electrical image energy of the thunderous smite like kind of does you know the classic like cartoon like he turns into a skeleton briefly and then back to his <laughs> yeah. human form yeah. Oh, yeah. it does it does that with an axe in his back so he turns he, he sort of pushes away and you take it you take a swing just as he's turning and as he's turning uh, the guards strike out with their spears and they miss um because he's, he's being very lithe very agile indeed like he's got some serious ac acrobatic ability uh, he's dodging all these spear strikes, and then as he turns to run away, wham, you manage to strike him right in the back. The axe embeds in. Can you make a perception check, please? Uh, yes, I can. Sorry, I just need to go back to my sheet. At the end of the day, he didn't have the worst death. He got a nice little joke and a good little dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve. Um, as you as you strike, you uh, sense that he. It's not like it, your um, axe is embedding in flesh, as you as you would have oh. expected. Poof, it strikes down, and it's very hard. Probably the reason why the arrow splintered in the first place. Oh. Uh, it strikes in as almost oh, as if as if you're chopping wood. Wow, okay. You slam into the back, and then the thunderous energy poof, blasts out from him. It blasts the cape up and open. Uh, and it, and and poof, you see this sort of electrical uh, storm energy. Poof, dissipate from the the axe uh, and it seems to illuminate almost like mechanical parts within him oh. or, he, or he then <laughs> just stops and <laughs> falls forwards um prone i feel like we wouldn't have got a lot of information out of him if we did capture him mm. i'm surprised he found zaza's joke funny um, yeah being a robot but yeah he had a sense of the world where he didn't did. get captivated by my sexy dance <laughs> yeah, what's up with all that? By, all by Bob. He will, this, this is why he was yeah. turned on by Bob. Oh, now we understand. She feels Bob, so much better about it. You can still it. be confident, Bob. It, was, it wasn't you. And the two guards <laughs> run over the and, they, and they jab their spears into him to make sure he's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can Torek right, come, right, can can right, come over and try and cut his head off because he still wants to be like claim the kill a little bit? Oh my yeah. god! Yeah, so Torok, Torok, no, kill. This was Torok's kill. <laughs> You're striking, you're striking the, 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 the cape's kind of fly, uh, uh, off to one side now. Uh, you see that his head seems to be the back of his head as he's face down in the dirt. Yeah. Um, it seems to be made of uh, wood and slight bits of Cut metal. Off. Cut off. Um, and the hood is kind of lying to the side. Just make an attack um, with your great axe. Oh, nice. <laughs> that, that'll do it. Two-handed, you bring it up and whoop, whoosh, and the head just severs. It seems to shatter and snap Thor some pieces. Thor got the kill! <laughs> uh -huh. Wow. Did you do um, that? Kind, kind of worked together. Thor got the kill. Solo uh, kill for Thor. 
you see uh, Freddie starts to walk over now, and so does um, yeah, so does I'll Becca now that they see that. Hey, it's Freddy, safe. check this out. Have a look at this, would you? He, he walks Master, over. he seems to be a robot as well. What can you discern from his body? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Here come, oh, here come the waterworks, here come the oh, waterworks. God. Hey, 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 we really don't have time for this. We need to go to Wraith. We he don't just stabbed me in the literal stomach. Why are you crying? Freddy, what is wrong, Freddy? Why, why, why do you cry? He turns, the, um, he turns the head over, and you see that the emotionless face that he was wearing um, was a wooden mask. And he and it's now just sitting in the dirt, um, and the the head itself is pretty much a warforged face. Ooh. So number fourteen, you know that the there were, you were told at least that there were only twenty warforged made, uh, six in the first batch, and then fourteen more in the second batch, and then after that they decided that it was too costly a program for the benefit they were receiving, and so they stopped making them. Um, and so there were only 14 inventors that worked on this Warforged project. E each person created one, except for uh, six of them that created the first batch as well. All, all, 20, uh, all 20 of the Warforged look almost identical to you. They were made out of uh, metal and stone. They were about the same height, same build, pretty much identical uh, with the slight subtle differences of the individual um, inventors. This one is made of, uh, made of mainly wood. And it is uh, significantly shorter in stature and a lot more agile than you. Not nearly as strong or as, uh, as, as buff. It's clearly been intended and designed for a different purpose. Do, um, do I know... Uh, wait, here we go. This is kind of it. Um, Freddy, do you know if this is an earlier model or a later model than me? Um, he, he looks around and says... Uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just think it's so, it's just such beautiful work that uh, I, I, I'm, I don't know. Hey, Freddy, uh, stab me in get the yourself stomach. together, man. <laughs> yeah. Freddy, you... get yourself okay, together, Freddy, man. Look, I'm trying not to be mean here, but will you just seriously cry because of this beautiful craftsmanship? <laughs> ben. <laughs> they just tried to stab Bob, you ben. psycho. Ben, <laughs> Ben, <laughs> you are probably the most, uh, insightful of the group. I think you have a plus three, so you're you're the one who's smart. So can you make an insight check, please? Sure. <laughs> sure. sure. My name's Alfie. Sure. Yeah, oh, nice. Twenty, motherfucker. You uh, you have spent hundreds of years among uh, animals of the forest of various different kinds, different uh, animals that are social animals, so animals that are solitary. Among those that are social, um, not a lot of them have. Uh, senses of mourning of, of, of lost ones, but there are a few of the forest that do. They, they all mourn in different ways. Yeah. They all have similar things in common about their, their body language when they are mourning the loss of a, 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 a family member or a clan member. Um, you see this in, in Freddy. He is definitely lying. This, this robot meant a lot more to him than he is letting on. Oh. So, Freddy, if you don't know this robot, why are you getting so emotional? I, I just... Huh? I put I put all of my work into into studying uh, how to make these things and and I thought that the that these were the only ones he gestures to fourteen but and I, and, and I think fun. he made him I think he made him father yeah, I father think, I have I not think, I have not I seen think, you cry this much over any of my brothers and sisters Torok what is going on his Torok stands over and is like do you lie. <laughs> Do number four, number fourteen is coming on the number fourteen's coming on the other side as well. Do you lie? I, I no, I'm I, I then, just it's beautiful then, work. Alfie's getting right up in his fucking face. Do you lie? <laughs> and we're now we're just like all like, yo, do you lie? Do you lie? Do you lie? Can you can can uh, let's see who's got the highest intimidation modifier? Probably uh, me. Hey, Freddy. Probably <laughs> <laughs> me. I, got I points, so I'm not great. I have four. Oh goodness. Okay. All okay. right. Uh, so. Uh, Adam, can you make an intimidation mod uh, intimidation check with advantage, please? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Oh, wow. Um, he looks up at you and says, Baby. "He's your brother." Call it. Now I know why you cry. <laughs> <laughs> I made him. Number we, twenty-one. None of us saw this coming. None of us saw this coming. <laughs> 
Okay, so if he's so, why the hell was your son trying to stab Bob? I don't, I, don't, I don't even know this guy. I met him once. <laughs> I thought we were having a good time. He looks up at the guards now who have got their spears drawn at him and he says, I didn't, I, I swear I didn't tell him to do this. I don't know what he's, I don't, I haven't given him orders. I haven't seen him since he was born. I, um, All right, so do you know, do you know anyone else who might have the ability to give him orders? Also, what's his name so we can start referring yes. to him by name instead of him? Maybe we should go to Wraith. <laughs> Look, his name is time, you're the place, Tower. We got far more important things going I on. I feel right? like we're getting dragged into something. Maybe we should Look. just go to Wraith. Look, Wraith Look. is already burnt to the ground. It's fine. Okay, oh, we just remove it from the maps. His name is 21. Okay. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Torok counts. He brings out his fingers and he's like. Fingers and toes. Fingers and toes, and he's like. 21 uh, uh, is uh, one more than 20. Uh, <laughs> well 20, done! 21 is more than 20! He's right! Barb claps. I, That's really good math. Thank. <laughs> thank. I don't... I, I, I haven't seen him since he was born. You have to believe me, I don't know He's what... He's really big right now on the map, by so the way. Where did really... you, uh, yeah. where'd you set him? Who bought him? So you made him? I, what happened I, then? Where'd he go? Why have can't, you not seen him? I can't tell you. Oh, can't oh intimidation oh, check. Can, 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 you, can you tell me if I stand Shall over I? you more threateningly? <laughs> I can't. I would die. Why would you Intimidation, die? I can't. We, we, we'll, we'll protect you. No, not from this. It's, 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 a, it's something you can't protect me from. I, if I, I literally can't say it or I will die. Let's oh. all intimidate them together. Oh. No, no, no. Hold what? on. Hold no, no, on. yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like this kind of spell. Where if he like a curse. Dying, he's going to actually die. Um, yeah. Rowan. And, and look, as pissed off as I am at you, Freddy, you're still my step cousin or whatever the hell you are, so I don't want to kill you. Uh, Rowan, can you make an arcana check, please? Arcana check, one moment. One moment, arcana check. He is, yeah, he's in, he's in a real state. He's, he's distraught. He's just seen the death of his son that he hasn't seen in however many years it's been. Uh, with 15, you know that he, his, he, he, he potentially is speaking of um, certain enchantment spells that can, they can dictate a certain person's um, abilities. And if the person chooses to forego what they've been told to do, they can take a lot of psychic damage. And so um, he's... All right, what if we just ask you a bunch of yes or no questions? Yeah, yeah, th this is what I'm thinking as well. Head. We're going to start asking you questions if, and see what you can answer with. And if you're correct, if you, if we're right, you just don't say anything at all. How about that? Oh. Mm. His eyes go wide. Um, is this is this uh, arrangement how you're actually standing as well? Just because it kind of, mm, there's potential that it makes a difference. Where is Zaza? Uh, Where yeah. is Bob? As always, I like to be back here. <laughs> I'm gonna just move yelling, away from this guy. Yelling, yelling my opinions. <laughs> You're um, just like contact that's... juggling in the background. <laughs> it's a very suspicious question, Rob, but yes, I'm still standing above you. Rob, I just saw you move that guy away from me, so I'm moving over here. <laughs> that guy was standing in between me and the creepy robot, and then you moved him. Okay. Yeah, he's decided to go it. around the other side of Freddy. Oh, yeah. Let's say, let's say yes. Let's say yes, Rob. All right. Um, so, what are you asking? Um, do you know? This is this is this is one of those classic twenty questions scenarios. How much further to race? <laughs> <laughs> How says, long? Um, it's take. about a day, a day on foot, I right. think. Let's go. <laughs> Let's just you... pack up and go. In case Torok doesn't remember, or Alan doesn't remember, more likely, um, this is night time. You have you have arrived to stay here so that you can go oh, in the no, morning. No, yeah, for rest. To is, be fair, to, to, like to do twenty questions, PM. if we can only get yes no answers, I wouldn't know where to begin. Yeah, that's what I'm just realizing now. I'm like, right, so what is to ask? A, a wizard? <laughs> is it a? Uh, do uh, ooh, mm, uh, Wait, here we go. Uh, Father, have you been cursed? Oh, he didn't say anything. Oh, he didn't mm. say. He didn't say anything. Mm. Okay, so he's being is cursed. the is is curse maker close close? <laughs> so curse maker close 
who here now? Is, 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 is the curse maker in Gerdorn or Calibor? He can't answer like a, 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 a he can only do yes or no. Damn it. No. And even then, yeah. we're still, we're really playing with fire here. Right? <laughs> you might accidentally, like, explode your head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm no. thinking, oh, God. Oh, this is really a pickle. We are in a pickle. Uh... Does anyone have any look, look, spells? Can we investigate the body again, see if we can find anything out? That's right. a good idea. So you uh, investigate the body, make an investigation check, please. All right. Look for a uh... serial number. I don't know. Oh, fuck it out. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> so, so you turn around. Goes, lifts up an arm and goes. That's definitely a that's definitely, he, a that's definitely a robot noise. <laughs> you see, you see the cloak that he was wearing, um, yeah. and it's a, it's a lovely sort of velvet cloak. It kind of looks like it's um, soft leather, like it's been t tanned oh, from a, an animal lovely, hide. Lovely guys. Um, uh, it has. Nice one, Alfie. You can kind good, of see in the. Good job, Alfie. This is good use of time. You can kind of see in the uh, picture it, tucked underneath. It goes. There's two parts that are almost like drawstrings, but much larger, uh, and tucked underneath his his uh, arms so that you couldn't see it. And then as you kind of look inside the cloak, you see that they turn into almost like tentacles. Oh. Um, that's all. You, that's all ooh. you're getting. Ma maybe, Alfie. Oh, I. Uh, Alfie, I am a little bit more familiar with robots. Maybe I can be of assistance. I don't know about Maybe that, mate. Maybe can, can number 14 access memory bank? But uh, quite, yeah, quite potentially. Make an investigation check. Okay, I'm, I'm going to move a little bit closer to aid my investigation check. <laughs> Uh, Maybe you can. Do you have tentacles? You could attach your <laughs> attach tentacles my tentacles to, tentacles to his tentacles. Uh, like Avatar. What? Oh great! I didn't. <laughs> oh, work. Work. oh god, we're we're useless um, team. We're useless you, you. team. Can you just try again? Can try can, again. can, can that be with, can, can it be with advantage? Because I am also a warforged. You, you see his body. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to give you the things that you would see normally. Um, you you take his once his cloak is off. You can see that his body is mainly he, he is wearing clothing, human clothing, just so that he can kind of blend in his body. Um, but once you take that off, he is com he's, he's in, almost entirely made of wood, so he's a lot lighter than you are. Uh, yep. You also see that down on his left forearm, there are two parts here that um, that seem to detach outwards and form almost like a short bow, a crossbow that's Ooh. embedded within oh, his arm. Wow. And there's a, a, cool. a series of uh, ammunition of, um, of arrows in, embedded in his Whoa. forearm so that he can this, this psh, cool. make, a, make a short bow attack. Oh, wow. uh, in, his other, in his other hand uh, is, a, is a section uh, where a short sword can <laughs> fire out and actually detach from his arm into his hand. And it seems like the short sword is now missing. because He seems very much like an assassin. Yes, he is. He was seemingly designed to be a very nimble, very assassin-like uh, does, creature. Does he have anything um, on him? Um, I mean, with the three investigation, not, not nothing. That you does can someone else want to have a look if he's got anything on him? I'll have a look. <laughs> I'll have a look. Strip him naked. Strip naked. He, he we asked find me a out... bunch of questions, so maybe I should have a look about who did I we was. We find out before if he's. Yeah. Wait, did um. So what's uh little gnomes dude? Freddy. Name? Freddy. Did Freddy make him? Yeah, so he's number two. You may have been we, in the bathroom. He, he's number 21. He's number two, and Freddy made him? Yeah. Freddy made him. Freddy made, Freddy made him. him. Right, right. I'm coming over and I'm going to tell you why you're um, so gonna look at stuff. Uh, what do I click? Intelligence? Oh, investigation. Investigation, which is right here, clicking it. Eight. Oh, oh nice! So you um you walk over and you see that his eyes were so dark because uh, he has eyes very similar uh, in in um, make to uh, number 14's eyes, but instead mm. of glowing golden, his are uh, almost glowing black. It's a very oh. peculiar thing, but he has uh, different eyes um, that uh, that made it harder to see him through the mask. Uh, you also notice from that that he is carrying a pouch of gold because uh, even as a robot, he still needs to buy and sell things occasionally. Uh, sure, only... Take it, take it, take it. You take you take twelve gold pieces and fourteen silver pieces. You need Ooh. to put that on your sheet, Brett, as well. Look at me making bank. You it you recognize that the sword that was left ne lying near you is uh, seemingly very well made. It is it it has very faint um, arcane runes etched around the hilt of it. Um, and it seems to be very well balanced and particularly sharp. Uh, the short bow embedded in his arm is also particularly well made, it seems. Um, 
And finally, you see that the cloak, after you've done inspecting the body, you uh, you see the cloak that um, Alfie is now holding is, is it seems like it's um, not taken as much damage as it might have uh, taken. It seems mm. like it's it's withstand, withstood a lot of um, attacks. Interesting. Zaza, no you, you know a lot things. about magical things. Do you want to investigate this cloak? Yeah, I would like to come over and investigate. The clasp. the clasp looks very familiar to me. So I'm going to come over and do a little investigation check. All right, investigation check, please. We're all just oh, staying over this uh, body now. If you're, if what's going if on? You're, oh, well, let's see. You're, nice. Are you proficient in Arcana? What's your Arcana modifier? Uh, Arcana, yep, five. Yeah, so that was a 24, because it would have been oh, okay. an Arcana check. Oh, okay. So 24, um, this is definitely a cloak. You've read about them. It's called a Cloak of Displacement. Um, it is made from the hide of a, a magical beast called a Displacer Beast, which is kind of like a gigantic six-legged panther with two tentacles that come out the back of its head, very okay. Avatar style. Um, okay. And uh, and when, well, when worn, this cloak gives you the abilities of the Displacer Beast, which is to... Uh, Illus to make an illusory copy of yourself and make it harder to hit. Okay, I'm just relaying this to the others. The last thing that you recognize uh, while investigating this cloak, Zaza, is that you recognize the clasp. See, I, I bloody clasp. told you. Nobody else, nobody else has noticed this yet. Yeah, no, I, didn't, this. I didn't notice. But Zaza, because you all rolled shitty in investigations and stuff, <laughs> or not, not good enough anyway. Uh, Zaza, you recognize this clasp as the same one that you wear around your neck. This is a clasp of the Phantasmo family. Hang on a sec. Oh, oh what? Damn. Hang on a second. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I recognize this clasp. Would you tell us? <laughs> C can we see Can we see Zaza's picture a bit bigger? Is that is that what we're seeing? Is it the yeah. one that's around his head? Yeah. Yes, if you, yeah, if you can, like you can zoom in on Zaza, or I can pull him. Do you just want to pull? Zaza's do you want to pull his uh, thingy up for us? His picture up for us. I will tell you what I'll do. I'll just increase the size of his token. Yeah, oh, whoa, oh, Zaza just God. grew by a just, big amount just then. Cracky or, deck. Or, or jumped it's just very high. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's suddenly getting way up to, into the air. <laughs> Um, okay, so no, no, that, that that was enough just to briefly say it. So it is this. Yeah. There you yeah. go. You can see a better picture of him there. Wait. So it's um, this, it's not the same as the thing around his head. It's the same as the thing the one around, around his neck. His neck. Yeah. None of you, none of you have noticed this yet, unless Zaza chooses to tell you. Zaza, what going on? What have you noticed, Zaza? Zaza, <laughs> tell us. This uh. This is nothing to see here. I don't oh, know. No. So, what oh. are you not telling us? I don't. You, I you're don't, you're seeming. You're seeming very it? suspicious, Zaza. Can, no, it's Zaza? Just, uh, I saw a thing and I was like, "What's that?" And I was like, what? Zaza, can you? <laughs> Zaza, can you make a can you make a deception check, please? And, so, uh, uh, uh. I was like, we'll I if anybody else picks up. <laughs> I really hope this is a low this roll. Is a bit low. Please. <laughs> I hope it's a really high Natural one. Rowan, I need a deception check from you, please. Right. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Deception check. One sec. Like, one did I, I just. Oh, did I... Everybody else, what's your in insight modifier? Uh, Minus one. Uh, I got one. Three. I got three. Three? Was I? Number four. Um, Number yeah, not, he's, he, he seemingly is just looking at the cloak and he doesn't seem to have noticed anything oh, odd. God damn none, it. Of you, none of you notice anything suspicious about his <laughs> behavior. He Wait, I'm still there. looking for mine. Um, so so uh, at this point, Freddy says, was that all of the Ooh. questions? <laughs> uh, My insight's so uh, serious, uh, Freddy. Uh, I, mean, uh, I don't want to explode your head, but I do want to know more. Yeah. Um, right, but I think it's really safe to assume Alfie, can you make an insight check, please? I certainly can. Oh yeah, uh, boy. All right. So you have you with your knowledge of the animals and how they work. You've you've yeah. had a fair few times of uh, cornering an animal for whatever reason, for veterinary yeah. purposes. You usually you're used to seeing the way that they kind of dart around looking for escapes. Um, he is he's focusing on the most uh, most threatening figures around him the the ones that are in his immediate vicinity but as zaza walks over to look at the clo cloak you see his eyes darting to him in the way that you are familiar with animals always sort of checking out the secondary threat to make sure that there's some oh. some other threat coming and you you ascertain from that that he for some reason thinks of zaza as a threat oh. right why hey freddy 
Yes. And don't explode your head with this answer. <laughs> I'll try not. But why are you looking at Zaza like that? What? No, I'm what? Yeah, Who's Zaza? I saw you. I don't, don't you bloody don't you bloody try and pull a fast one on me. I saw the way you looked at Zaza just then. What's going Who's on? Who's Zaza? He says looking at Zaza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I... Do um, you recognize I think... Zaza? I, I, I've never seen Earl Zaza before in my life. I, I'm, really? sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, how, how did you know he's an Earl? How did you know he's an Earl? Uh, well, Please don't explode your head. Um, <laughs> everybody, everybody knows the the Earl, Earl Phantasmo, Zaza oh, Phantasmo. He's... Bollocks. No, they don't. Zaza out. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows he's, he's the, fam like the family. I, 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 I'm, I'm well learned. I've studied the. God damn it! Years. Right, look. Let me no, tell you. All right. It, the, the emblem on him is. It's my family emblem. I. What? Why? So why is, is your family before? trying to kill me? Then? You see a sense of relief. But I didn't see it uh, back then, and it's not my fault. You see a sense of relief on Freddy's face as you <laughs> tell them this. Do you have any more information for us, Zaza? Do you know why well, he might you, be I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I know, and I'll tell you this. <laughs> my my cousin, or whatever the backstory is that I made before that I can't quite remember the detail. <laughs> uh, he, he, we don't necessarily see 100% eye to eye. Uh, and I've, I have a suspicion. I have a suspicions that this is some... Uh, assassination ploy but that's about all i can decipher at this moment and right so this cousin, cousin of yours did you say, did you say well i don't know uh, uh, do, do you know where your cousin is well he's on the he's on the alvin isles just Wait. to just to just to fill rowan in on his own character <laughs> family tree <laughs> Your your uncle is your is the king of the Enixilibon yeah. Islands, and his his son is Prince Zozo. Yes. <laughs> now we don't we don't get uh, again with my backstory because I, I get I, I gave a backstory and then Robert fleshed the shit out of it, and I was like, "There's a lot a lot of fleshed out detail." Did you um, read your backstory? I did, but there's a lot. There was a, the, the, the fine details about the families as. Uh, that my okay. back, I don't get on so well with with my part of the family doesn't get on so well with the actual royal lineage. Right. So, so you, I, I, I've got a I've got a feeling the king and his son have got it out for me or something. I don't quite understand why. And that but... makes no sense. I, why they Why would they try to kill me? The... Because yeah. you're no, you're the one that happened to talk, run I mean, after him. The one that happened to happen yeah, to be there. Because he did try to get away, and you chased him down. So. I know. Yeah. But he asked me if I remembered my past. Like what? The Wait, the, what? Um, the guards walk over to you, <laughs> Bob. Like what? So, uh, <laughs> Wait, what, what was that about? What did you say? Huh? Oh, what were he asking you? Uh, he asked me if I knew where to get parsley, like the vegetable. <laughs> Oh, because he was asking if one, I knew how to grow, grow nice. herbs and spice. Can you make a? Let's can you go make a to Wraith. Please? Let's go to Wraith. I'm let's making a what? A what? Let's just a what? Walk away from this. Making a what? A what? Oh shit! Because you're actively lying to the guards. <laughs> um, they say, "Oh, that's weird." Yeah, do you, do you like so pizza? I don't know. We're trying to piece it together because about three years ago, Robbie's just reminded me we had a, another devil. Bo uh, sorry, a tiefling. Um, sorry, what? You want to oh, rude. Like, I'm down Look, we want to focus on that right now. But we we had another tiefling. Sorry, um, <coughs> who were killed in in Woodstock uh, like two years ago. Um, right. Uh, oh. And another one before that, about a year before that. Uh, and they were both like sunburned skin, like you and. Uh, female right and okay. and we've had other tieflings come through maybe like once a month or so and they don't yeah. have troubles but the only only ones we've ever had come through with red skin and women D do you know they're, where they're, they're usually like, coming from and or going to oh all over the place like the first one were coming from uh Gerdon, i think she just she were just like traveling and second one i don't know i think she came from Eastwatch. um but the, but then we started looking into it after the second one happened. Like first one, we're just like you know, it is yeah. what it is. People die. 
But well, the like, second right one happened within a year, and I was like, that was a bit weird. And we started talking to people of Eastwatch, and apparently they'd had a, a red skin tiefling die and all. Right, right after he asked me the parsley, he was like, also about your past. And I'm, I just forgot about it briefly. And now oh. I'm telling you. Sorry. That's a weird thing to forget about. Um, yeah, we just. I mean, we you just, did just you did just get stabbed in the gut. I suppose. I did. I lost a lot of blood. Those are real. Parsley, and then oh yeah, he made a very menacing. <laughs> I passed. Yeah. And stabbed me. Mm. And what? Like, well, I don't know. I, I don't know if he, if he, if like, some tiefling somewhere has shagged him and he he, he got it, like et up about it. But Torx, we, that's what... see, Torx takes a few steps north and just looks out at the horizon and he can see in the in the blip <laughs> In the cold night, a faint or orange glow of a burning city, and he just says, and a little tear just. Toro, goes. calm down, man. The city's gone, brother. The city's gone, brother. <laughs> it's it's nighttime. Nice you he can't get there until morning anyway. He's just like, <sighs> we need to. Uh, Torok, we need to rest anyway, so we weren't gonna we're get there in time. Are we resting? Time, man. Are we resting? Do you talk, call us resting? Is, this, is that what we're doing? We're resting. <laughs> Is no, we're trying to doing? investigate why so, one you, of our party just got stabbed, Tora. You see, Tora, put some pants you see, on. You see, Tim come out with a, you see Tim come out of the thing and he's just kind of holding a glaive next to him and he says, if you want, uh, we've, we've got the rooms ready for you. you yes. I got, I've got a few it. more questions for Freddy. A few more questions for Freddy. Yeah, then, Freddy. We, should, then we should sleep after that. Was yeah. it, were you commissioned? Do you, do you know? Careful. We might still explain. Yeah, right. Place. Well, hang on, he can just... You can just not uh, say nothing if you mean yes to the following what, question. Wait, what do I what do I say if I don't know the answer then? Uh, if, no. if you if you uh, yes is no answer, and no is Headache. do a little skip, do a little skip on the spot. Skip on the spot for for no. For no, for no, and and yes is just like a look nothing. And if I don't know, I just say I don't know. Correct. Yeah. Were you commissioned by the like a deep royal family it is a little skip Ooh, no lot of geek like a deep whatever it's lot of geek yeah it was yeah okay uh uh did you no 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 listen man <laughs> i'm, I'm sorry what man. i kicked I'm... him in the shins <laughs> ow <laughs> you weren't commissioned were you commissioned by any anyone any phantasmos Ooh. Ooh. Your dad wants to kill your ass. Even Tarok is like, Ooh. <laughs> 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 Oh, wait a minute, this just got interesting. <laughs> I don't know what voice I know, yeah. Torok not caring anymore about race. He's like, mm. <laughs> Well, to, were, were you commissioned to kill me? Does a little skip. Oh, he did a little oh. skip. Oh, he did a little skip. He did a little skip. He did a little skip. So, do you know why this robot was commissioned, or were you just commissioned? So, do you know why? <laughs> Hang on. Do you know why you were commissioned to make the robot? He does a little skip. Okay. He doesn't Interesting. Know. Do, do you do you know who commissioned it? Yeah. Do you know who commissioned you? Yeah, it was my family. It was the Phantasma. Oh uh, yeah. He, th but I don't know do, why. Do you know exactly who commissioned you? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a yes. What's your, what's your dad? Was name? it my father, Derek? <gasps> you, see, oh, you, see a, you see a look of terror across his face. I knew it. Oh shit, son! You see a look across his face as if this might be the last moment of his life. Oh shit! Unless someone asks questions. <laughs> right. Everybody uh, move! Uh, but then anyway, nothing would happened. Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> I yes. I, I don't know yeah. what to do with this information. Sh sh right. Shall we all, all right. go inside, have a very healthy meal, and go to bed? Come on, Freddy. Let's go have a drink, mate. You've had a bloody big day. Let's all go inside. Yeah, you see him fucking shaking. So, so hang on. Just to recap here. Come on, mate. You were, you, you, made, you were commissioned by my father, Derek, to make this assassin thing, and we don't know why. Yeah, that's right. I'm annoyed. <laughs> father. Same. <laughs> I think Bob You're annoyed. Be annoyed too. I got hella stabbed. What are you talking yeah. about? Sh shall we all go and chill out inside the bar and eat yeah. and then go to sleep? Potentially it's Come the on, middle of the Freddy. night. Come on. Come on, Freddy. Let's go have some grog, mate. I, I, also, I, I, 
I pick up the body before we go and carry it with us. Sure. I pick up my bow. I pick up my bow again. So I've got the body. The bo wherever I go, the body goes. Yeah. I pick up right. the bow. This is me officially saying I picked up the yeah, bow. Yeah, the body's like a, back, a wooden backpack on you now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, the the guards are like, this, this is this is this is too much. Guards, here. guards, oh, go away, guards. This is way beyond you. Piss off. Yeah. Goodness. You I mean, rude. They did right. most of the damage in that fight, but. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, like, well, you think you got it from here? Good. At... <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. I guess no, it is late at night. They need to go home to sleep as well. So. P piss off. Without... Goodness, you've done your your, your manly stabbing part. Go. <laughs> right. They're already gone. To be fair. They left I'm a little while ago. I'm annoyed, that, they, I'm annoyed yeah. that they hung around for so long. They really overstayed drink, their welcome, you know. Drink, 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 food, drink. drink. Okay, oh so can we have a can we have a drink and a little meal for dinner? Sure. Yeah. Not you, that I you, not that uh, I need any actually. I I just go. So, so, I'm, I'm having. Time. We got plenty of time for a nice with drink this, with, good meal. With this new information team, uh, I'm going to come and have a little quick, quick chat with you guys. You're outside, you, there you, we go. Yeah. <laughs> new information team. How do we turn that into a call to action? This is a this is a good question. Yes. You what? Shall we just continue? Do we do we sleep and then continue on to race? Well, what if we if we sleep and wake that this side quest over? Yeah, uh, the, we don't really. Uh, I feel like we don't have any other information that's going to help us. Maybe we continue on to race for now until we find out more information. And we just take this as a lesson that if any coded dark-eyed men approach us, maybe we. Exercise a little caution. With it. Maybe I can't is, believe my maybe father. Maybe this is the whole point. If of I didn't get it's stabbed. Just a nice little, nice little, like listen. There's no yeah. biggest plan here. <laughs> well, Rob, 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 I, think, Rob, I feel like there might be a bigger plan. plan. Tell Rock, I think there is a slightly bigger plan because just a little. Zaza's dad is trying to kill us. <laughs> and, oh. and, unfortunately, Zaza's homeland is in the oh. opposite direction of race. And much further away, should we just continue for one more day to race oh, yeah. and take oh, take yes. Freddy and the dead body with us? Can I say I... I think we should go to Wraith, but let's not just brush aside the fact that Zaza's dad's trying to kill us. I think we should ab keep ab in absolutely, mind. absolutely right uh, there, okay. Alfie. Dungeon Master, can I send a pigeon back to my father? <laughs> yep. Yeah, there are there are rookeries around. I would like to send a pigeon. Sure. You um, uh, it won't be open. It won't be open now, but you can do it in the morning. Right in the morning. Sending a pigeon, my father. And now pigeons are canon in the world of Azrim. Nice. Are pigeons here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just like that. And Aston Kutcher. Things they're using for messengers. Aston <laughs> Kutcher is the worst. Aston Kutcher. Well, I guess the best course of action is to recharge all of our things and go to sleep. Yep. I think so. That's the plan. Let's have a, let's have a rest. Can, can I, as I, uh, in air quotes, rest, can I literally stand over wherever Freddy sleeps? Um, sure, yeah, oh, absolutely. I just want to make sure, I just want to make sure Dad's safe. Father, I want to make sure you're safe across the evening. Walked into the kitchen. <laughs> right. just like checking it out. So, but, yeah, uh, we're in our lodgings. Da down oh. the, down oh. the, in the uh, lower right corner, you see level one and level two oh, of oh, the yep. buildings. Oh, can you see that? I think no, it's black there. actually. No, it's if you reveal could. areas. There you go. Nice. There we go. Um, so you find your respective beds, uh, and right, there's also I'm a level. Take a bath. There's also a level two over here that somebody can yeah. sleep upstairs in that one. Beds um, bring me out. I want to find a tree or something. Um, else. Where, are you, where are you putting Freddy? Because that's where I'm going with the dead body. Uh, well, let's say that Freddy goes. Uh, Freddy goes up to the top level there, and you can head over to right there with the body. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, um, you see that Freddy is just like he's 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 been through a lot today. Yeah. Uh, he was reunited with one of his only two sons, uh, only to find that he's been brutally murdered by the by his other of the two sons, uh, who he's never seen in the last five years, or whatever. And yeah, he's been through a lot. And met a he's cousin. Had a big day. He's had a big day. He's had a big day. Poor guy. Uh, and uh, so I I I I tuck him in. Like, there's a big robot above Freddy. And I go, Father, I've seen the amount of times that you have cared for me. I am going to care for you. And he, he, and he tucks him in. All right. It's very cute. Um, awesome. I've got more questions for Freddy, but in the morning. Uh, wait. <laughs> so wait the, uh, the, the night passes. Um, are you getting uh, into a bed, Ellen, or are you going to stand at the top well, of the stairs? 
I I wanted to find a tree outside because beards are not something that I feel I vibe. But we're with. kind of strutting here now, you right? Can, you can go inside. No, you can go inside if you want. I'm, so, I'm just gonna there chill you. outside if there's a yeah. There's, I right. know there's a tree north of the bar. Like I'd want to go. So there. you can find a you can find a tree north of the bar. Everybody else, you got your beds inside. Um, uh, Alfie, right? your your <laughs> dream begins again. Um, oh, of course. It it goes through just the first few moments of it. Um, uh, Ev says. Uh, Come and have a look at this, darling. And you realise the dream's starting again, and you walk yeah. to the door and see her from behind, and the clods of dirt are falling from the ceiling. Um, and then there's the scrabbling sound and the <laughs> collapsing of uh, of the the uh, entr entryway, and a big clod of dirt falls down the entry. Uh, and then you see an animal fall down, but it's not the badger Biggles anymore. It's uh, oh. it's another it's another of your uh, woodland friends, a reindeer you once knew uh, called oh. Vixen. Uh, oh. Vixen comes tumbling down the thing. Um, and she is covered in blood. She is head to toe drenched red with uh, with blood. Um, and she sort of scrambles over to you and says, I'm in so deep. And she speaks in the common tongue. And she says, I'm in so deep. You've got to help me resist. And then she turns and you see that the orcs are coming down the uh, entryway. But this time they're not orcs. They are obsidian skinned black humanoids uh, about nine feet tall. And and as the as the sort of the, the the body appears slowly from beneath, you you see that the head finally crests into this gnomish cavern, and it is the most attractive human man that you've ever seen, um, oh, but with obsidian black uh, <laughs> obsidian black skin. And he oh, says, all sorts of strange feelings. <laughs> he says, "Why did you leave me?" And then the dream sort of fades, um, and you see a you see you feel like a wetness on your skin, and you realise that's real, and you sort of uh, open your eyes and. And look, and there's like a, t a small rat that's uh, run up onto the bed, and he's sort of nuzzling you, and he says to you in sort of the ratty language, he goes, "You okay? You, you kind of looked sweaty and scared." <laughs> yeah, I just had a very weird dream. Sorry, what was your name, mate? <laughs> uh, 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 Roger. Roger, Roger, <laughs> right. Well, you, I tell you, you okay? every night I have this weird nightmare. His wife. I just see killed by a bunch of orcs, and uh, I have a recurring nightmare where I relive it every night. But today was very That's strange. Horrible. There was a very attractive man in my dream today. Oh, he had okay. black eyes and black skin. That this rat is getting scary. way more information than he did. <laughs> yeah. That sounds very scary. If you're, if you're, oh, if you're scared, sometimes it's good to, to huddle with the rest of your little pack. And then he kind of like nuzzles up in, into your neck. And this is adorable. Little, there's a little bit of, a little bit of. Um, so who the fuck is this rat? Is it just a real? Is it just a rat? It's just, it's just, it's just a rat. Alfie has rats, a way with animals. Rats are actually very friendly. They've got a very bad name. Everyone hates them. They're actually quite nice. They're um, so you animals. you go to sleep. The the dream doesn't return. It seems like you've had a little bit of comfort from the um, the rat there. Thanks, Roger. <laughs> um, uh, Todor. 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 What do you what do you reckon you're you're dreaming of tonight? Um, I dream of hunting in wilderness. <laughs> you dream of hunting in the wilderness. No. Uh, you, as you're as you're hunting, uh, you come across a, a glade in the forest, um, and you're on, alone on your uh, Vorbastan, your your rite of passage. Mm. Um, and you're hunting. You you come across a, uh, a deer, and you're about to take it down. Mm. And then the deer turns to you, and its antlers kind of glisten in the in the light. And then it says, "Help me." I'm in too deep, mm. and then it, and then you freak out and, and you just shoot it, and then the arrow sticks into its neck and it starts to just piss blood, and the that blood like unnatural uh, all all up its face and down its skin until its skin is drenched red with blood, um, and then the dream ends and it's very peculiar. Um, oh, that was a weird hunt, Bob. <laughs> what do you reckon, Bob is dreaming about tonight? I think Bob was asleep until she heard the sound of a rat. And Alfie talking, and then she woke up, and she was trying to understand. I can what. guess what Barb was dreaming about. She, you didn't just tell us, Brett. Was See, there a deer, and it said, "I'm in too deep." Maybe they just. <laughs> yeah, I was on a ship, and then someone, a fish, was like, "I'm in too deep," and I was like, oh, well. uh, "No, you were on a ship, and um, and you were alone on the ship, and you were back 35 years ago to the ship that you first uh, came conscious on, um, yeah. completely alone in the middle of the ocean." And you, you're just reliving that again. You're, you're walking around the ship, wondering what's happening, where you came from, who, who you are, why you're here. Uh, and then you see the ship on the horizon, the, uh, the, um, the matador. That was what I called it. Uh, the matador appears on the horizon, and it starts to get closer. 
uh, and eventually it pulls alongside the ship and uh, drops anchor and you um, and you see the board come across and join your ship and you see Captain Ironhoof uh, walk across the Minotaur and he uh, he says now this is different and he looks around and then beh behind him steps a, a member of the crew that was never actually a member of the crew this is a very attractive uh, black skinned obsidian skinned sort of nine foot tall human and he walks forwards behind the, the Minotaur and says why did you leave me what the fuck? <laughs> and, then the, and then the dream starts to fade. What is going on? <laughs> Zaza and Zaza and uh, number fourteen. You guys don't dream as you uh, don't you don't sleep. Um, you just recharge or meditate respectively. Um, and the next the next morning, the you will have your long rest. Everybody gets all their hit points back and all their spell slots and everything like that. Um, and what do you wish to do? Oh, are we? Are we in the? Are we in the bar now? Are we back? Are we back there? Yeah, I mean, yeah, the sure we can... for, food, for food and. Oh, we're, 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 having, we're having a little bit of brekkie. We're having a bit of brekkie. I'll, yeah. I'll pop you down. I'll pop you downstairs. Yeah. Let's have nice brekkie, relaxed coffee, and then leisurely stroll. Great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you as you walk downstairs. Meander off to Wraith. They're fine. <laughs> um, as you walk downstairs, you see a. Uh, um, an androgynous kind of looking person, you think, possibly human male, um, but very feminine looking. Um, he's sitting at one of the tables and he's just kind of shaking. Is that uh, the one next to Zaza? Is that the one next to Zaza? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we just left a dead body. Oh, we just left dead body. No, 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 no. The body was with me uh, across the evening. I oh, okay, it. it was. Okay, great, great, great. Um, you see Becca's sort of uh, just handing handing like a bowl of um, porridge off to this this uh, this person zaza that person next to you looks pretty distraught number 14 why are you bringing dead body with you for breakfast that's <laughs> we're weird it's my oh, uh, younger brother of course i'm going to do that at the cabin for breakfast oh you're dragging your younger buddy's dead your younger brother's right. dead body around that's correct fine. that's fine then. Yeah, that's completely that's fine. fine. Oh, well, that's oh. fine, yeah. Since our only real call to action at the moment is still Wraith, shall we continue on with Wraith? Zaza, Thank you! Yes! Zaza, Zaza Thank would you, you like to comfort the person sitting at the table you, you with you? As you? Well, as you say this, uh, let's go on to Wraith. Uh, this person turns to you and says, Don't go to Wraith. God it's, damn it. it's gone. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, gone. Uh, oh. We go into Wraith. We go There's, no, gone, there's no need. There's no need. There's nothing you can do there. Oh. oh really? Is it all too late? Did it take a little bit too are, long? Are, are we too late? What what is the situation in Wraith now? It's just, the orcs are everywhere. The, the plague. Bloody orcs. The plague. Oh, I feel like we could have Wait. been faster. <laughs> yeah, we all know. Listen, we all know. listen, listen, <laughs> Turok, Turok, listen, oh. big earth, listen to me. <laughs> if you're so bloody obsessed with trying to get there, you know that it would we we still wouldn't have even bloody arrived there even if we had have kept going. It's already too late, man. It's already too late. <laughs> Let <laughs> it go, man. I I think. <laughs> <laughs> I I hate it's to it, late, I, I hate to admit it, Torok, but I feel like our uh, journey was ill from the start. We never had enough time to get there. We should have got the, horses. The person at the we table speaks horses. up and says, "It's where it's were we going to get true. horses to carry your big bloody bomb around?" Oh my god! It's, it's true. Breakfast. It would have been too late. They're, they've they've been attacking for two days now, and yeah, man. that's within the city. They've been attacking yeah, the out, outer walls for two weeks. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh, <laughs> man. Amir Zaza, you. What are you doing? What are you, are you crawling under me? <laughs> yeah. Crawling under my legs. Like, Just get yeah, through man. thick, thick yeah, man. head, man. It's too late, man. <laughs> all right, all right. Now ignore those two buffoons. So you're from Wraith, are you? Yes. Right. Um, and lots of death and destruction there, I imagine. The plague was the plague was too much. The plague. Uh, what? <laughs> so yes, there was a there plague. Was, yes, there was a sickness. Oh. It weakened the forces. That it, uh, oh. People were going. They were losing their senses. And oh. it, it was a sickness of the mind. Oh. It infected everyone. There was... Oh. People were getting corrupted. They were, they were did they falling the ill to their base design. Oh, people are getting corrupted. Oh. What, did you, what did you say? 
I said, did they turn obsidian by any chance? Like the dreams we all had last night about... You don't know all of them had the same dream? Yeah. Only dreams. about the dream I had last night, specifically about what well, I wouldn't know, because it was just one dude, but... Tordok, you guys have any weird his, dreams? Tordok's setting his little espresso, and he's like... Does <laughs> anyone have it? I had a crazy dream. <laughs> A little espresso with a small biscotti. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a, a medieval espresso with a medieval biscotti. Yeah. If you put the with a lovely side of Wait. eggs, Benny. I, 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 I mean, medieval iPhone. Christy and Tim can work wonders. They're very hospitable hosts. So they made you a, 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 a biscotti and espresso. With his pinky out. With his pinky out. He's doing the whole Wait, thing. Wait, Bob, did you mention an obsidian man in a dream? Sure did, and he was really a, was he very tall. Handsome? Yeah, but also very tall. Yeah, I and had, he was I, on a boat. I had, I had a dream about a very handsome man as well. Huh. Interesting. Very Anybody weird. else have any weird dreams? Can you? Uh, just comes over to uh, Alpha goes, the plot thicken. Is anybody <laughs> yeah, proficient? Like, in, like a little bit weird. Like, is anybody proficient thickens. in religion? I might be. Uh, oh, I think I might be. Yeah, actually. I am. Yeah, I am. I've got religion. two. If you are, I've, I've got two religion. Yeah. I've yeah, but are you proficient? Four. Is there a dot next to it? There's a there's a dot. Oh, Brit's got four. Oh, Brit's got I'm four. four. Oh, a dot. Is there is there a dot next to pr a your tick. religion skill to say that you are trained? Oh, in it? oh, oh, oh you goodness! Made a, you made I, I am. Tick? You made a tick. Yeah, a tick, tick or a dot. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. I, I, do you want me I, to do I, mine? I Yes, I anyone am, I'm, who is I'm, proficient, anyone who I'm has a tech next to religion, I, I, can make a religion I'm, check. I'm plus okay. five religion. Okay. Oh, okay. Brit got 21, I got 19. <laughs> Ro got 25! <laughs> we know everything about all of this business. <laughs> so Brit and Brit and Rowan, unfortunately not you, Adam, it was a DC yeah. 20. Yeah. Um, you, as you're sort of describing it, you, there's something triggers for you, something about this, uh, uh, an exceptionally handsome man with obsidian skin. There's something, it was something about your studies with, with the fiends, the lower planes. You sort of rack your minds. Was it, was it, was it a devil? One of, one of the, one of the de devil lords or the arch devils? No. Yeah. So, oh, he, he was once a devil. And then he moved to the, uh, the infinite planes of the abyss and he became the demon lord instead. Yes. Um, those who are proficient in religion know that the devils and demons are from different planes, as we went into in, Inver in Avernus, so we won't <laughs> go into it again. Um, but yeah, he is, uh, he is considered a demon lord. And you, I say, with Rowan, you remember that his name is Gratzd. Um, Gratzd. But with a 21, it's not enough to remember his name. Um, he is, he, Rowan's 25 would say that you remember he's Gratzd. He was once a devil. Uh, he came over to being a demon, and he is a demon lord of lust and bodily desires and just Ooh. indulgences and he yes. enjoys a lot of base natures right yes goodness i say <laughs> so you hear them you hear them I, talking I, about you hear them talking about dreaming about um, an obsidian skinned yes uh, knife Listen, let me relay that the information that uh, blah 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 relayed <laughs> what i know about oh, wow, this grass you say Yes, it's very sexual. This might explain why Bob was a bit like Randy the other day. I feel like. <laughs> yeah. Randy it's around. Randy. No. Um, the person at the table, the the the, um, the person new to the bar, says, "Did you did you say they indulge in base desires?" Yeah. Yes. That's, yes. That's, that's that's what I know about these things. That's been the plague for the last two months or so. People have been corrupted. People have been falling ill to their own. Just a big Basically, old horny plague. Has it just been one been, big old horny been, kind of orgy? Ooh. Indulgences of, of every kind. <laughs> over sure over drinking and drugs and, and gambling and... <laughs> I think they were just having... They just have rave. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> no, it was, like it was guards. Plague. Guards were getting involved. The upper class were getting involved. Everybody was... Great. Great. Right. I, I great. guess you could say... It was not great. People, people were abandoning their duties. The, the, the defences were going un, unmanned. Who yeah. wants to go to Wraith? Yeah. Who wants to go to Wraith? The orcs were attacking the building from the outside of the town and, and yet people inside were still just fucking each other. And it was as if nothing was happening. And then the orcs were inside and they were killing it. And people were dying and blood was everywhere. And people were still fucking and drinking. And... <laughs> Wraith! Wraith! <laughs> hey, hey, I got some glow sticks. Let's go. Do you know what I would like? I find a lot of mushrooms. Like, 
I would like a call to action because I don't know what a I, call to action I, is. I feel like uh, we should either go to Wraith or try and find someone still under the affliction from Wraith. Yeah, let's go have a party. <laughs> uh, um, you, let's see, who's been around a lot? Not in that way. Um, who has been around? <laughs> Sator well, wouldn't. I'm, Fourteen I'm might know. Uh, oh, Zaza would definitely know. Um, Zaza and Fourteen. Uh, you would probably recognize, as you talk to this person, that it is uh, it is a male, um, or at least they were at birth, um, and they have probably been uh, castrated um, before they were they hit puberty. This is a eunuch, oh, yeah. um, and they they are usually held in uh, in servitude for royal courts and whatnot. So this is pr someone from a very upper class, um, wealthy class of the of, of the city of Wraith, apparently. Well, um, you what's your name? Peter. Peter. Uh, how, wait, how long ago did you come from Wraith? I, I set off last night when I could get, oh. away, get away. And you say there's no point in us going there. It's completely overrun by orcs now? If you... If you the orcs have been driven out by the, the army that arrived, uh, or uh, the, oh. the threat of the army. The well, army I from guess... Alderkeep. Oh. oh, yes, that might be those people that ran, that rode past us the other... No, the the, the warning of the scouts arriving yes. heeded the sudden arrival of uh, the army of Alderkeep, which we're, we were expecting any day. I, I passed them on the way down. So, here. so are you saying oh, so that the orcs, or the orcs, has left have left Wraith in ruins? I'm saying that Wraith is in ruins. Yes. Maybe we could oh, go to Wraith and try and investigate this plague. It seems to be linked to your guys' dreams. Now, yeah. just to clarify here, this plague. Yeah. Is it like a physical Play. thing, or is it, or is it just turning people a bit randy? It was a, it was a <laughs> sickness of the mind. It was a sickness, sickness of the, of the mind. mind. People were being it sounds like corrupted. a jolly good time. Let's go investigate. Yeah. I mean, Please, you, it's, you it's, don't it's, understand. Right, it's, it, right, right. it starts as being fun, but it was there was a group emerged that started claiming ownership of the of the play. Oh, it was, let's go. Oh, well, no, there's a the group. They called themselves the Proud Hands. Ah, using my arcane and religion insight, I think I know that. You definitely don't. You've never heard of the Proud Hands. <laughs> never heard of it. Have any of us? Have any of us heard of the Proud Hands? Nope. I got somewhere they can put my their Proud Hands. You know what I mean? <laughs> Alfie, cool. what? Was, perhaps what you're already. You? I think Alfie's you're already sick with it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm already getting infected. <laughs> um, <laughs> do, do, excuse me, Matt. Um, excuse me, sir. Peter, do you know anything more about the Proud Hands? I I know that they they claimed they claimed ownership of it once it had spread across the entire city. They came forth and said that they were behind the whole thing, and everybody everybody who was already sick with it rejoiced. And huh? by then, it was the majority of the city. Uh, they. They they say that the base indulgences of the flesh are all that life is really here for, and that right. it's important to. They're not. They're not like uh, totally wrong. They're not totally it's, wrong. It's, like... They are. They're wrong. You don't understand. What? It is. It is to to the point of to the point of uh, obscene. Listen, <laughs> listen, 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 Peter. I, I'm assuming from what I know about you that you've really never experienced that side of things because you probably <laughs> no, you know, I haven't. You've kind of. I yes, get it, man. Uh, they, I get it, man. Was, you, you, you don't I was really understand. As a child, yes. Yes, I'm sorry about that, by the way. That sucks. It's no, uh, it's, but, it's been a wonderful life. I, I've been. Uh, yes, but you've never, you know. No, it's it's something I I feel like that's perhaps why I. So but, let me just clarify. I'm not saying that it's the be all and end all of life, but you know, they're not. 100% wrong. That's the thing all I'm you're not saying. understanding, Although, the, the it doesn't thing seem to be a good thing, they though. They are treating it like it is the only thing that there is. Yes, if, you, if you're only able to have sexual relations and not fight back against orcs, that seems like it could be a problem. Again, Metal Man, you are probably another person. It is that not. It is not just the sex. This. You're getting. You're getting caught up in this. It is not. They are over drinking. They are. They are. They are using illicit substances. Oh, they are. God. They are gambling. <laughs> they're, they're, everything is just. Everything is too to the well, point. Right, of, right, 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 right. Right. 
No, sorry, just I so I yeah, do obviously. avoid it. This is Wraith. You're talking about any particular <laughs> area of Wraith I should definitely the, the, avoid. They, they, or... they, they get from the, they get up from the table and they they walk off with their head in their hands yeah. into the back room. <laughs> well, I mean, I just right, don't so... see what the big deal is here, really. <laughs> like, I... finally, Zaza, you and I have something we can agree on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You get it, right? You get should... it. Get some Alfie's, get some Alfie's ready to move on me. after after an entire monogamous relationship that lasted 300 years or so. Yeah, I was gonna say this <laughs> is Alfie's, <laughs> Alfie's just fucking ready to. This is incredibly out of character for Alfie. Incredibly out of character. It's been 10 years, man. He's over it. 20 years is time. Incredibly out of character. You've changed, man. I'm not trying to minimize my grief about Eve. I'm not trying to dismiss her memory or anything, but for fuck's sake, I was with one woman for centuries. Give me a chance to party. Alfie, man. Alfie. Hey, Alfie, look at me. Look at me. Can I... Here's here's a drink. I, I grabbed a drink. Drink for Just put okay, in your hand. Let's do it. It's let's morning. It's yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? How long's it been? How long's it been, man? <laughs> oh, since I've laid with someone. Yeah, oh man. God, well, Bob leaves the room. Because they've been. Let's um... be honest. We were pretty old by the time that Evie died. Oh, so we weren't exactly... oh no, yeah, I come with. Them. Alfie, I, <laughs> we I, leave Alfie. the room. I think yeah. there's only there's only well, one place here, for us to go. Don't you, you know what I mean? There's only one place for us to go right now. I think I'm, that's sorry, I'm picking up what you're putting down, Zaza. Right, let's go. Let's do it. Uh, I, I have different motives, but I also agree we should go to Wraith to investigate. As if because you won our <laughs> I think we're all on the same page here. Let's go to Wraith. Unfortunately, I do not have the capability to do that. I do not have all right. genitals. Alright, that's alright, 14. You can just watch. All right, uh, so uh, that sounds you're, like you're a plan. You're all agreed. You're going to Wraith. Yeah. Oh, I wish Wraith. Oh, right. I mean, oh wait. wait. Zaza, Zaza, did you want to send a raven slash pigeon to your father first? Oh yeah. yes. Remember yes. how he tried to kill me? Yeah. Just... Where, where do I do that? Can I do Let's it here? Let's go with Raven. Go? It sounds way better for uh, for a fantasy world. <laughs> well, uh, I'm pigeon. sending a a a, pe Maybe a, a, pe a raven. Swallow. A little pigeon. Sure, no, we can, no, 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 no. We can... We can make it raven. a fantasy raven because George R. R. Martin thought that they sounded more fun. Than okay, pigeons, I'm gonna write, write a though, letter. Even though COVIDs don't have homing uh, sensors and pigeons do. What is your yeah, letter? What's the letter? So you, you head off to the you... head off to the rookery, um, and you you hi, you hire a, um, the the use of one of the ravens uh, to write a letter. It depends okay. on how far how far you're sending it. So let's just say the, it's a gold piece to the Enig uh, Eleven. Okay, so the letter goes like this. Hey, Dad! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, if you, you know, right? Yeah, I, you know, right? Yeah, do, I don't think I need to say anymore. I expect your reply. Out. Oh, Zaza, out. <laughs> he finishes his letter, Zaza, out. All right, Zaza, so it is. Out. I'm just measuring it now. It is uh, approximately 75 miles as the as the bird flies uh, from from you to there. So uh, he can expect that in about 75 miles time. Oh, I've just had a lovely dog come say hello. How, how long? How long is oh, that yeah. for? Over here, hello, and it's just like, what? It, what's this guy's deal? What are you up to? What? What's uh, your deal? That's just the bar bartender. Yeah, dude. intimidate. I intimidate. <laughs> you walk over to Tim, who's just like cleaning up a table at this stage. Uh. Shall, shall we? Uh, shall we join on? <laughs> yeah, shall we go now to race? I'm but, leaving. Yeah. Bye. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just. All right. Like, yeah, All right. Yeah. Bye, All right. All right. Let's, let's go. As you're intimidating a, a, an innocent commoner who's <laughs> literally just. Literally just boarded you for the light, the night and, and fed you in the morning, right, right, yeah. and was and was and was playing you with alcohol the previous night and you know, intimidating him for no reason. For no yeah. reason, with nothing to even ask, you just start intimidating. I feel like we're missing out on opportunities to talk to people here. Because like, Alan just wanted to roll something. That's why. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think I failed though. So I'm just like, yeah, yeah, and then I leave. Like, oh, um, can I, yeah, I guys? We have uh, to uh, raise for what? By, by yeah, the way, yeah. I, I'm I'm still taking the body with me, and yeah. is is Freddy gonna come with? Uh, Freddy does not want to come with. No. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna still well, take the body Freddy, with us. It was lovely to meet you. It was actually, actually, sorry, but with very easy, quickly man. before we go, before we go, oh, we're what? gonna go, Freddy. Yeah. You, you, um, yeah. I, I just have a couple more questions. What's up? Okay, so let's yeah, get out. Be careful with your okay. Friend, now, so no is, is do a little dance. Yeah. And yes, just have a drink. 
have a little drink of this, you know, whatever, a beer sure. or water, water a whatever. Drink. Well, you know, hey. So, <laughs> did we? Well, how how long? How uh, were you were you commissioned by the Phantasmo family? Like more than a week ago. Oh my god! Oh my Here's god! Here's a drink. Yes. Were you commissioned more than six months ago? Drink. Oh. Drink. Were you commissioned more than two years ago? Drink. Oh. Were you commissioned more than ten years ago? Close to it. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. So about about that about that. About okay, that's a long. Ago. That's a hell of a long time ago to be commissioned. I thought it was more recent. Uh, not for a not for a gnome. It's not very long, but that is a while ago. It, just to give you guys um, reference within the world as well, the uh, the Warforged of which uh, fourteen is a part were commissioned during the Great War, which was which ended fifteen years ago. Right, so, a right, little so bit after that. Yeah. So he was he was commissioned. So uh, fourteen is about seventeen years old. Um, were commissioned you commissioned about two years in... before the end of the war? To make uh, number twenty-one in secret. Yeah. Ooh. I want to ask why. <laughs> we already asked him that. He well, doesn't know. I know. Um, more... I you just Guys, help me out here. Do we have any questions we can ask him about this? I feel like this is very. Uh, yeah. Um. All right. So Wraith is already gone, and Torok's not too worried. So yeah. Ask him. Should... Ask him. Ask him why he targeted me if he knows why they targeted the. Yeah. The, the, well, the I don't outlier. think he'd know. Why you he He did. He didn't. I think. Okay. We're kind of. Hey, hey, Freddie, do you do you think there's more information that would that you know that that we haven't asked you that would be helpful? To... To, to... He's having to think. He's having to think. <laughs> don't <laughs> explode your head, Freddie. <laughs> He does a little dance. Oh, he does it. So no. Okay. So no. All right, we're done. Uh, wait, one more. Freddy, where are you going to be staying for the next couple of days, just in case we need to come back? I guess here. Okay, okay good. Yeah. Cool. See okay. ya. Hey, hey, wait, one, one more. One more. <laughs> are you holding out anything on us? Are you? Are you? He does a little dance. Okay. Okay. Just ask him that, Telrock. North or south? I'm leaving. See ya. Specifically, it's like really, like oh, it's really, right. Hey, Bob. The thing, the what, thing I was the last time you left the group. <laughs> okay, we're well, still Bob. She's in danger. I'm Bob's going. In danger. I'm going. Like, Wait, no, come on. Freddie's saying something. Okay, when he cast, well, when he cast the spell on me, specifically, I was, I was prevented from saying what you already know. Um. That's that's all I. Like, I don't know. I don't know how how it extends, but I was specifically prevented from telling you something you've already worked out. Okay. All right. Great. Well, Let's go, everyone. Oh, right, Bob. No help. Bob, can you just can you just hold on for a fucking second, please, Bob? For God's sake. <laughs> oh, she's running off Freddy. on her own because that worked last time. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Were Were you specifically told not to say that it was the Phantasmo family that did this? Oh, that's a donut. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Good. Right. That's what I wanted to know. Correct. Let us away. So we know that it was the my my well not necessarily my father, but I'm pretty sure it was my father, Derek. No, I think he confirmed it was the father, no, it wasn't was it? Exact, it was Derek. No, we can, it was definitely his father. Your father. Yeah. Drink, 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 drink. Finishes the drink. Right. Alright. Well, Derek. Freddy, thank you for your help. It was it was nice meeting you again and oh, having that lovely oh. connection with Evie, but this maybe next time Jesus. don't create Father, Bob, 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 Bob. Father, I'm I standing outside. Father, I wish you could come with us. Do you have anything that you could give me that might aid me for the adventure? Um, he. Let's you you seem Bob. to what have useful doing? tools. What are you doing, Bob? Stop. Uh, he <clears throat> so he, stand, he stands up and he takes he takes a minute to uh, to like tinker with some of the bits that have been broken and and God, over the down. years. Uh, and as an artificer, he's casting mending on you, so he just oh. uh, makes you a little bit better, uh, a little bit more new. Um, Where did you go? Mechanically, no difference there. But then yeah. at oh. the end, but at the end, he says, Stop. "Oh, I, I guess I can do this again." And he tinkers with your legs, and you feel like for the next hour you have uh, long strider again, so you have an extra oh, nice. ten feet of movement. Guys, Bob's being difficult. Please, hour. can we just go? Let's go. <laughs> okay, Let's shall we? Out. Shall we hit to race? All right. All right. Well, Let's see you later, Bob. Freddy. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. So you leave. You leave Woodstop, 
Fucking finally. <laughs> <laughs> How's Wraith doing, by the way? <laughs> All right. Oh. Burnt to the ground. So, here you are. Uh, back, you can you can all see the map, right? You're yep, all yep. back on the map layer. Yep, yep. Cool. <clears throat> so to show you uh, the distance, you're heading from Woodstop here uh, to about to Wraith is going to take about 20 miles, which depends on your speed. Are you going at a fast speed, medium speed, low speed? Fast, Let's fast. Go fast. fast, I, fast I don't think. I don't, we don't need. The, the, the place is open. dead. There's no need to go fast. <laughs> medium. Um, we, well, to be fair, we've just taken these people's word. We don't know 100%. We might as well. We might as well. How fast would fast get us there if we didn't get waylaid? Uh, at a fast speed, you'd get there in five hours. We'd get, we'd oh. get, we'd get there in time speed, even normally, though. Seven. Well, we'd, if we want to get there, what I'm thinking, Alan, is if we, if we go fast, it'll probably slow us down because we'll probably get waylaid by bandits on the way. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Whereas we still get there before sundown if we go normal speed. But, okay. Yeah. Let's go normal. Let's go normal speed it is. Let's normal go speed. normal right. speed, everybody. It's so normal speed, but you want to keep, maybe uh, keep your pace going. just kind of normal. What? Just keep the time. Control. Just Sorry. the time check. It's uh, twenty-five past eleven. Do we want to wrap or what? Sh 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 we shall do? we? Shall we get there? See what the situation is, and then wrap. So at least we've well, got a bit of a cliffhanger. That's assuming, assuming we get there. I mean, we still could be well late. Who knows? Yeah. What, whatever right, happens, so let, let's leave it on a cliffhanger. What is the all right then? We will do so. What is the um, marching order of you all as you walk? Tordox out the front, some ways. I'm at the back. I'm gonna I'm be at, smack in the middle, the middle somewhere. Kind of in the middle yeah, where I'm safe. I'm all at right. the back Tordok. still. I'm still with my dead brother on my back. <laughs> so Tordok out the front, uh, 14 down the back, uh, Bob and Zaza somewhere in the middle, and Alfie. Alfie, I'm just trying to keep up, really. Sure, trying to sure. keep up, so, so somewhat lagging down behind, near, uh, near, just in yeah, front of um, just 14. In front of 14 yeah. Should I just Very put my dead brother in my inventory? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Dead Al brother. You stop carrying around your dead brother's corpse. <laughs> wow. Do you have? Weird, do you have man. both? Do you have both the body and the head? Yes, I do. Right. So I'm going to add both his dead brother body and dead brother head. Oh, I should have I should have mentioned as well. It probably went without saying. You imagine, but um, he doesn't have the yellow tourmaline that you have that allows the high sorcerer to give him commands. Mm, he is is uh, off the grid from the from commands. It seems. Mm, I see. Okay. Um, so you have both his head and his body. You're walking <laughs> along. Uh, you walk through a. You get to a point maybe about an hour south of um of the city of Wraith, where you can finally see it in the distance. Um and uh. It appears, and yes, as you as you were saying before, it is smoking. It seems like there's a lot of the city that was left on fire. Um, you also see that uh, just just arriving at the city now, you've 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 managed to catch up to an army. Um, you can't tell from this distance; it's still several miles away. But you can see that there is an army arriving at the gates of uh, City of Wraith now to to clean up the rest of the orcs that are in there. Um, apparently, the army from Alder Keep managed to overtake you in the night. Um, we we they, did horribly. We did horror. <laughs> yeah, we've heard it all, Torok. <laughs> Torok, so, man. You get to, you man. Get, so you're cresting hill, you're heading down uh, towards the city of uh, Wraith, um, and you walk through a small sort of forested area, a little bit of a, a small wood. Um, can I have Torok make a perception check, please, since you're out the front? Yep. Also, Torok, just quickly, the city's been under siege for weeks, mate. <laughs> yeah, what man, let it go, man. Like, just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. go. All the more reason. One day, a wizard, a bloody brothel, a tiefling, and a fighter against an entire orc army. What All the more reason. All the more reason to go faster. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, Torok, that we stopped for a night and took um, a rest. Sorry, uh, man. We would have we sprinted there, been exhausted, and faced an entire orc army. And sorry, man. We would have caught man. the plague and just fucked our brains out. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so like a good way to go. We rushed, actually. It would have been a great time. Yeah. <laughs> so 11 All on right. perception. 11 on perception. Uh, let me just check something real quick. Uh, they have do 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 do. All right. So you do not see, unfortunately, um, until it's a little too late. Uh -oh. Oops. <laughs> so Classic. as you're walking through the forest, you see uh, movement up ahead, maybe 30 feet ahead of you, um, and you see some small fox-like creatures that uh, you know from your oh, times yeah. walking around, uh, Alan. You know that um, that these guys are jackals. Um, 
and you you sort of see them emerging from the the trees on either side of the bushes uh, and they block your path ahead on the path so let me pop you on the on the map where you can see them um as you as you see them arrive can you all see them yep yeah cool uh, they sort of walk out onto the path and they're just kind of they're not being threatening they're just kind of watching and and sort of looking at you okay. curious right. looking okay well this seems like a job for elfie yeah, yeah. Uh, elfie you go discuss all right all they right. seem to be a little bit of right. um, backing and chip, chippering between them go oh, have a chat right. to them elfie so elfie I, so i i approach them slowly carefully friendly Friendly, sure. carefully. You do. Can you use your, All right. Hello. Can you use your animal handling check for me, please? I sure can. With which you are super proficient. Yeah, mate. Twenty six. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Just get wrecked. So, get Alfie, as you're, as you're walking get forward slowly, charmed, jackals. As you're walking forward slowly, um, you start to you start to be able to make out their conversation between themselves. Yeah. Um, you, the first thing you notice is that they don't seem to have realized that you can speak their language. Uh, and the next thing that you pick up is uh, one of them is saying, yeah, but what about the shiny one? He won't go down. Um, and then uh, the, other guy, uh, the other guy responds, yeah, but they, don't, they won't see it coming. Um, and, then they, and then another responds, hey, look at this small one. He's coming over. Shall we get him? And he's like, mm, not yet. Just wait. Um, so it seems like they are preparing to attack. Alfie, what do they say? Well, it sounds like they're preparing to attack, but just hold on a second. And they, on one second. of them, the, the one that was um, sort of seemingly being turned to as the leader, turns as you say this and yeah. says, I think they can see us. I think they can, <laughs> I think they can hear what we're saying. All right. And he walks, right. he, walks a little, he walks a little closer and he says, can you understand me? Yes, I can, <laughs> you sneaky little jackal. Well then, <laughs> it seems our ambush is blown. Now's the chance! And as he, says, as he shouts, as he shouts, now's the chance, his, his uh, forelimbs come up off the ground and his body grows. Oh, and it seems to grow into some sort of a bipedal creature. Ooh. Oh. Right. Thank um, you for taking the front position. Animal. Yeah, he yeah, is, that's yeah. right. <laughs> he is, he is very, um, he's very humanoid looking. Oh, God. Um, oh. But he can seems we, can we bring up a picture human, of him? Human oh, jackal. He's like a, yeah, oh, he's right there like on the a... battlefield. Yeah. Oh, can we bring, sorry, can we bring up a bigger animals. picture of him? Oh, a bigger picture of him? Let me see. Do, do, do. Oh. He's shredded, but, though, like low-key. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Just... Calm down. Bob. <laughs> 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 Bob. <laughs> For God's sake. Just... There Bob. we go. Bob, Bob Horny Bob. just up to him and stuff. I just think Bob is just a liability at this point. Oh, this is into well, the fairies. He can't deny it. Look at him. Oh, he, he, he becomes, he yeah, becomes this sort of creature. And yeah, what but more he's also, is, you know, got a wolf head. <laughs> and he's going to try and kill us, Bob. This is hey, maybe Bob. Hey, is maybe Bob's a furry. Stop being kink shaming. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, don't yeah. kink shame, right? He, Continue, he, he Rob. Becomes this, he becomes this jackal weir, uh, and uh, and not only that, but as you've done yourself, um, Ben, when you when Alfie yeah. transforms, you can you can merge your equipment with yourself. Right. Seemingly, when he becomes this jackal weir, he's holding equipment. So he's for a start, he's not naked, um, but yeah. but also he's holding a, a net in one hand and a chain chain of manacles in the other hand, oh. uh, and they attack. And that is where we will pick up next oh. time. Oh, me. Next, time. Damn. Damn. next up on Isolation DD. Um, thanks very much, guys, for coming. I just want to say again a big thanks oh. to Dungeons and Dragons Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring uh, these streams. And if you guys yeah. want to consider playing D and D as well, go to the link in the description and check yeah, out all the their free time. resources. Yeah, it's good, yeah. good fun. And also, is, look, look, good. I'd like to say another thank you to Rob. Just a great job, man. Great job, Rob. Yeah, yeah good job. Thank you very much. Good I appreciate job. it. Okay, Rob. Bring me all that. I'm currently, I'm currently in the middle of a maths test that is <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to be due tonight. So, so now I have to. <laughs> Change, yeah. change now you have to go study. So, so um, if anybody watching is an expert in combinatorics, please get in touch. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm your man. Yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> combinatorics is my specialty, actually. I should, I should say, in case my lecturer is watching on the off chance, uh, I was joking. <laughs> in case he's not watching, I wasn't joking. <laughs> Um, and uh, thanks to everyone for watching. If you guys want to, if, if you didn't see the entire stream, it's going to go up 
on the new D and D VLDL D and D YouTube channel, which is link yeah. also linked in the description. So go go yeah. check that out. It'll be this episode will be live tomorrow, so you can, you can yeah. see it then. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Other than that, Hell thanks yeah. everyone for watching. Thanks to everyone who came through from the Twitch stream on D and D, um, the D and D Twitch channel. One more epic episode to go. Is that right? Yeah. One more. One more. Next episode next week. See you then. See you then. Ooh, Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.